Bro, sleep. I did sleep. This is with sleep. I do sleep. Sometimes. It's been known to happen. I think the late night streams, the secret late night streams, are really comfy. What do you think? I think they're comfy streams. Do, 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 do. It's a little loud. Okay, so I haven't played the game again since last stream. So we're at the exact same spot that we were when we ended the last stream. Because I, um... Uh, I just put the console into resting mode and then just uh, 360 walked away. So here we go. So what are we doing? We were in the underground and we are trying to light the way. Now I'm going to guess that, that these are somewhat equidistant from each other. So I could probably extrapolate out that from this one there's probably going to be one right around here. And from this one there's probably going to be one right around here. So if this fills up the whole map there's going to be a lot of these. So there's maybe one right around here, I'm guessing. Wait, I'm looking the wrong way. I'm not looking the wrong way. Okay, so if I'm right, there should be one over there. But couldn't we visibly see another one from where we were last time? Or was that one we already had? Whatever, let's test our thesis. I think it's going to be over here somewhere. Is that it there in the, in the distance? All right, is it always worth it to fuse a shield? I don't want to fuse the shield with a rock. It looks fucking stupid. Can I, what if I fuse a shield with another shield? Maybe that would be better. Puff shroom. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, it's puffing. Oh. Oh, the Hinox is here. Oh no, that's a stone talus. Oh, we haven't fought one of those yet. Really? Just the same music? Okay. Wait, it's covered in shit. I can't get on it. What? Alright, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Alright. Deed. Alright, so she shot the guy with an arrow. Um, I don't know if I can fight a stone talus. How do I get on top of him? Do I have to like uh, rewind a rock into his face to knock him down and then hit him? Because like I don't think I can climb it. Maybe you can climb. Maybe maybe uh, maybe it's fine. All right, let's actually get more prepared. I need to fuse some stuff. Um, I need to get a bow equipped. Is it worth it to fuse a bow? And if I do, what would I fuse it with? Maybe we should go over here and get some shit. Maybe we should clear this, clear out this um this pack. All right, I have a soldier's broadsword. What does the quick charge? What does that do? So I'm guessing that means that this char charges up faster. Oh, oh my god, it's so much faster, okay. Okay, let's fuse it with something. What do we want to fuse it with? Fuse power. I think I understand the system more. I was talking about it on Jads yesterday. I think I understand the system more of like the weapons being guns and the shit that you find to fuse it being ammo. It still kind of fucks me off that why do the guns break then? But I want to uh, engage with the system a little bit more and see if I can find some fun in it. I don't think I'm going to, but I want to try. All right, so I'm definitely not going to use my biggest ones because that's just not how I play. A Hinnix toenail. We have we have two of those. Let's let's do that. So let's drop one. Also, this is clunky as all hell. Oh my god, it's so clean. You know what? Let's let's drop both of them. Okay, hold on. Oh, it turns into like an axe. Okay. And now we want to do it on the um probably the uh Zonite sword. Yeah, I should have done this before we went into combat. My bad. Alright, there we go. <sighs> ok, 
Okay, rock hammer, rock hammer. I don't think we need any of those. We're full, aren't we? I'm pretty sure we're full. We're not full. All right, so rock hammer is just five. Oh man, oh man, rumbled, rumbled. All right, what if we fuse the, the bow? All right, you can't fuse bows. Long stick with the shield? Okay, why not? Yay, okay. So you can't fuse bows, right, chat? Did you play it between the stream? I did not know. Like, I put in rest mode after we were done yesterday, and we just continued up. Like, I just started the game and started the stream right away. You can fuse arrows. Yeah, I know you can fuse arrows, but I didn't I didn't know if you could fuse um, fuse uh, bows or not. Fusing individual arrows seems kind of shit. Do you, do, you do, do you do it in batches? Or do you just do it like this? Also, can you throw it? Let's see. Let's let's do an experiment. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna th aim at the blue mushroom, right? And I'm gonna fire it. Okay. And it got there. All right. Now I'm gonna hold R1, and I'm going to go here, and now I'm gonna throw it at the blue mushroom. And will it go as far? No. No way. So shooting it goes further, but it costs an arrow. Hmm. All right. There's a lot of menuing. Yeah. It kind of sucks. I don't know what they were thinking, to be honest. It makes me think that Nintendo doesn't really understand how to do... You know what? This is actually true. Now that I said it, it's actually true. It makes me think that Nintendo doesn't know how to do UIs and stuff. And the reason why like, it, like Mario is so um, streamlined is because there's just not that much to do in Mario. And then as soon as I said that, I was like, that also explains why they fucking suck at uh, online shit too, doesn't it? Like, yeah, they, they don't know how to do this shit. It's really, really bad. What? There we go. Oh my god, cooking is such a chore. Yeah, like, just everything... I'm gonna guess, like, if you do it now and then, it's fine. But just, there's just so much shit that, you, that goes into it. And I don't mind the ritual. It's just kind of... Um, it's just a little clunky. There's a lot of, like, uh, hold down a button. And then, with the context of that button held down, use now use the D-pad and go over and then hit the button again. But oh, oh, make sure you hold down R first before you hit down the D-pad. Like, it's, there's just a lot of that shit. And maybe it becomes second nature the more you play. Like, it's a long-ass game. So, like, I'm sure it does eventually. But... Like right now, like my brain, my brain like goes, I want to do X. And then I try to do like five other things before I finally get to X and, and get past all the errors that I hit. I'm getting back into the combat a little bit though. I'm remembering how to play. Like the flow of like, uh, cause combat's like that too. Combat's very much like, oh, hold the button to be locked on and then you can dodge and then release it and then run and then do the, f and then jump and then do the glide and then do an air attack and then fucking backflip out of the way and then go an arrow and then shoot your arrow and then, blah, blah. and it can be, and it can be kind of fun, but like it's, it's also again, very much like, um, uh, playing piano, or playing a warlock in Worlds of Warcraft, if you if you know that better. Uh, let's let's go to um. Fuck. See, like right now, I'm like I'm. A, it's that button. Okay. Oh my god. But no, it's just it's just sell the game back to its roots. Its roots of having really fucking shitty ass backwards ancient control. <laughs> Sorry. I'm enjoying the game. I'm just I'm just uh I just enjoy being a shitter. <laughs> Does Genoa you know can just break boxes with axes? That costs weapon durability. Why would I do that? You, what do you think? You think I'm made of axes? What, what, what the hell? Ooh, we got some uh, some bright seeds. That's good. All right, so that's one that we've already seen. All right, I'm I'm a little scared of the stone talus. You know what? Let's save it because I don't trust the auto save system. Once we clean it, clean it, clean a pack, uh, a, a camp. I think we should uh, we should save it. Very curious to know how Joseph Anderson, Joseph Anderson feels about fighting games with their pretzel ass raging storm inputs. I don't like that part of the game, but I respect it as a like a mechanical or dexterity uh, check for playing against another player who's the best at doing at, at making the D-pad or the analog stick and the buttons like basically cast a magic fucking spell at the exact at the exact moment that you need it to go off with a practice learn movement that's like that rewards mastery of it you know that like I, I get it and but I I don't like that part of it for sure like because it's just it's so fucking daunting to learn I hear it's you it can get second nature fairly quickly okay there is one over there all right 
but but yeah, I don't like that about fighting games either. But I wouldn't I wouldn't give that as criticism of the fighting game genre because PvP has different rules, IMO. Like I don't really like turn-based combat games as a rule, but turn-based PvP games are fantastic and I think that's a, a whole different um different uh kettle of fish. I just had some uh air fried chicken fingers for breakfast. Get on my level. Let's light let's light this up. Oh, okay, there's a lot. Oh shit, it's broken. What's the button for weapons again? This one. Okay. Um probably want to keep going with the with the Hinnok axe. Oh, actually, maybe that's a waste cuz these are just fucking um these are just skeletons. What if I combined a can I combine it with a Zonite? What does that do? All right, so what did that do? Plus 1 Zonite club. Okay. I like the idea of the system a lot, I just don't like its implementation, and I'm hoping I can get past its, its implementation, because if I can, I think I'm gonna like it. Because it's just, it's not like a consumable, like, oh, you need to do prep, I'm sure you can do that, but it's like, uh, it's more, um, find what you can and scavenge, and I really like that part of, uh, of Breath of the Wild. If you recall from the video, if you've watched it, which I don't assume that everyone here has, obviously, um, that would be, like, super, super presum presumptuous, uh, I said that in, in the early game is when I liked the durability system in Breath of the Wild the most, because uh, it, it inspires this kind of like, oh shit, my only weapon broke, quick, 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 scramble, what can you find? Oh shit, oh, grab their weapon, you know, throw it, pick it up, you know? I, I liked that moment, and as soon as you got too many weapon slots, um, that that was gone, and it just became a chore. So them using this fuse system to embrace this kind of like, oh, quickly, fuse your weapon, what do you have around you? Shit, do it, you know? like um, I, I would say that, I, I could see that potentially um, lasting the whole game, but right now it's I have a huge like stockpile of ammo for my guns in for for you know all intents and purposes in my bag so maybe i could do a self-imposed challenge that i don't do that shit and i only fuse what's on the ground but that might lead me to have uh issues going forward i don't know that feeling is exacerbated even more master mode i am in this game or in breath of the wild because i didn't play breath of the wild in master mode maybe i should although i don't know if i want to because uh i don't know if i want to play breath of the wild again especially after playing this I was watching Witcher 2 vid and was wondering which plot point that didn't carry over to Witcher 3 disappointed you the most. Uh, everything with Yorvith and Saskia, pretty much. Almost everything. Like, very little of Witcher 2 is carried over to Witcher 3. Uh, it, it's, it's like, oh, just here's a big reset. And in, the, in that extent, it's kind of true to history that you you think this is going to be um, true to history. Uh, tr true, kind of kind of more realistic in that sense that, oh, you thought that all this was going to be important, but no, there's always different powers at play that might like, switch up the whole entire thing. Um, but I don't know. Like, it, it was a little disappointing that all these things that were so important just kind of went nowhere all right we're definitely going over there to get that sorry if i was a little grumpy toward the end of the stream yesterday um there were a, there was like a like a building like like amount of comments yesterday that were just kind of getting to me as the stream went on oh shit he's a tough one mr grinch oh he has like rock armor on run away run away run away run away bravely run away bravely run away What? What hit me? He has a spike shield? Oh, did he? I didn't even see the spike shield because it's so dark. So what does that do? If I just walk into it, I just take damage? Okay, now I know that. I didn't even know there were spike shields that the enemies could have. Okay, makes sense. But fuck, that was uh, confusing. Loved your content since, wit since Witness. Ah, oh, thanks, uh, Tuker Forever. Oh, it's a sub too. Thank you for the sub. Alright, this guy is a... Alright, those spikes are really hard to see. He has spiked armor too. Can I not hit this guy? Or did he parry me? 
Oh, I just hit the shield. Alright, so if I hit the shield, I'm gonna take damage, it seems. Alright, now let's switch over to this. Oh, that's how I hit the shield and take damage. Oh, okay. So he's bashing me back a little bit. Alright, armor shard shield. Shit, we might die. Oh no! Rumbled! Yeah, deserved. Okay. Echo? There's no echo. We're still on the old setup from, the setup from yesterday. I listened back to the stream, and when we um, when we fixed the audio desync, it sounded to me like the echo went away. So I wonder if like like the audio um, the audio delay was only going through on one system, uh, one one layer, and it, it was fine, and that's why we didn't have any problems with uh with uh with thirteen sentinels. Okay, how could I deal with um, this guy's uh, armor? Is there like some sort of like explosion I could do with an arrow? Maybe a rock? I don't know, you can't fuse, you can't pick up a rock and fuse it for your inventory, right? A bomb? Let's try a, a bomb. Okay, did that get rid of his armor? It, looked like, it looks like a, yeah. All right. Oh yeah, he's completely screwed. He says before getting hit. Traveler sword. I would like to pick up the traveler sword, please. What are we getting rid of for the traveler sword? Oh, we're kind of full, to be honest. I want an axe for trees. Oh, we have axes from the Hinox axe now. Um, rock sledge like is good for for breaking up. We want at least one rock thing. Let's get rid of this. Okay, it felt like my my club broke there, but it's still here. So how does that how does how does that work? Yeah, fuse is already being used on that. Okay, and this is like if I if I switch weapons right now, it's gonna tell me yeah this is this is close to breaking. All right, so um this was good though. Fusing uh the Bakablin uh, like skeleton arm to a Zonite made it last a lot longer. This is really cool for a, for a weapon system. Uh, sorry for a weapon upgrade. I'm not sure if it's a good a good weapon system yet. Seems like it. Sorry, I almost complimented the game. My bad. I have to take that back real quick. Alright, that's that. Wasn't there another one over here? I think I want to clear out the camp first. Traveler Spear, Soldier Spear. If I fuse these two together, will the quick charge and the other one um, stick? Let's find out. Let's drop it. How do I drop it? Drop X. And then let's fuse these two together. Hi, Gatsby. And also, it's a good test. So they're four damage each. So is it just four plus four equals eight or what? Like, let's find out. Oh, it is. Okay. So now it's like super fucking long. All right. What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Okay, I don't know if these are going to shoot rocks at me or not, so let's find out. I think so. Cycled. Soldier shield. Oh, we definitely want that. We definitely want that. Let's, um... You know what? Let's do it. Let's drop the soldier shield we already have and fuse it with the new sh sh shoulder shield. Delightfully devilish, uh, streamer. What's this gonna do? All right, is it just going to make a bigger shield, or is it just going to be two layers of shield? 
I think it's going to make a bigger shield. What the fuck? Alright, that looks fucking stupid as hell. That's dumb. It should have just made a bigger sh- That's fucking dumb. What the- <laughs> So does it just have double durability now? Because it's two shields- That's fucking stupid. Alright, you look like you are vulnerable already. But maybe we still have to do a, 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 a rewind against you. Yeah. Shit. Climb up. Climb up. Well, this was awkward. Let's let's make a three piece. Let's make a three. Okay, the long stick shield seems kind of shit. Let's drop it. All right. Could you pick a, an item to replace in your inventory um, in Breath of the Wild? One. I don't think you could. Could you? Damn. I wonder. Uh, I wonder which Nintendo executive had to almost lose their job after over fighting for that quality of life change. No, you don't understand. We want we want the player to to have to like go in the inventory and open the chest again. No, no, we can't do that. <laughs> arrows. Being a little stingy with the arrows. I'm using them a lot, though. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna just break these open. I can't be fucked. Do you think Witcher 4's narrative will be better and more cohesive since the devs won't be obligated to stay faithful to the new books and will be free to introduce new characters? Um, Cyberpunk, uh, shows me that CD Project is exceptionally good at character writing and dialogue writing, but not very good at story writing. So I would be very worried about the overall quality of the plot, and you can see that when when um, when uh, Witcher kind of deviates a little bit too. Although it, it never gets quite as bad as the story writing as a uh, of um, what you call it of uh, of cyberpunk, I guess. I don't know actually. I don't think so. Um, so I'd be a little concerned about that. But I would be. They also have a lot of experience in that world, so I would be um, I would be keen to see what would happen. Uh, why the sort? Okay, this is just just absolutely breath of the wild to me that they fucking that they this is how you interact with these things like the mechanics of it of like throwing it around and lining up is just awesome but this being how you interact with your inventory and make it happen is just just fucking mental to me in in the year of our of our lord gay ben 2023 holy fuck do, 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 do. i'm kind of on autopilot with the stream right now i'm feeling kind of kind of weird i don't know maybe it's because i'm not used to streaming at this time not every day I get to watch your streams on my way to work. Great, great timing. Hope you have a good day at work. And if you don't have that kind of kind of job, you know that you can have a good day at work. Sorry if that's a little too real. Hopefully it's not. Um, then hopefully your your day is brief and it passes somewhat quickly. Going, hey Waggy, how's it going? Happy birthday. You know what? Let's cook some some of our ingredients. You know what would be nice? It'd be nice if at these checkpoints down here, like you could set up like maybe a permanent campfire. I guess the Nintendo Switch can handle that because of the persistence of it, but like just like a little permanent cooking station or whatever, just have like a little base of operations that you can move. That that would, that would be kind of nice. I like this area. I really like this area, but like stuff like I'm just describing right now is, is getting a little tedious. Like having to like set up your own like this the shit over and over and over and over again. I don't know. All right, so we drop that, and then we okay. Is it easier? Is it better to drop a fire fruit or is it better? Can I just throw a fire fruit? <laughs> Oh, I can just throw one. Alright, that's pretty that's pretty good. I wonder if it's easier to do that or a flint. Alright, so now we want to drop some food. And we I think we want to drop all of our apples. I think we just wanna get a little bit more of a boost from our from our little shits that we have. So let's uh hold all our apples. Oh man, how can I hold all these apples? And then drop them. Really? R we're that finicky, are we? Oh my god. No way. Where, where are the acorns? Do we have some acorns? They're probably at the bottom. There they are, acorns. 
I'll watch back a clip of me put it, trying to put the mushrooms into the into the fire when there was like um like an, an updraft. And when it happened, someone in chat was like, "What were you expecting to happen?" I was like, well, "I didn't fucking realize that 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 mushrooms like were so light that they would fucking go flying in the fucking air." Like, like it was funny. Don't get me wrong; it wasn't a big problem. But like, holy shit! All right, uh, Chickaloo Tree Nut. That moment was fucking. Hilarious. I agree. It was it was very funny. All right, let's also, let's cook some more too. What do you want to cook? Some mushrooms. Hylian Shroom. Hylian Shrooms uh, heal for quite a lot. Let's do that. Because right now we have so few hearts that it's not even worth it to cook meals, I think. Unless we cook very strategically. Clearly, Link does not own an air fryer. Alright, so according to my calculations, there should be another one in, like, right... Okay, so this is, like, here. So, like, in this area here... You know what though? It might be like it might be like down here and then stagger it up like this, right? I think if we walked to the distance to the here and then went north or south, I think we'd finally find it. Finally find it. We we would find it eventually. The hell's that over there? Alright, you know what? We didn't eat. We didn't eat. We made we made all the food and then we didn't fucking eat it. Alright. Uh Perfect. Hey, Joe, do you like the game so far? I like the game, but I'm not in love with it. And at this point, Breath of the Wild, I was in love with Breath of the Wild. Like, head over heels, oh my god. Like, in love with Breath of the Wild. Oh, we can make another airship. and We're not gonna, but we could. Ooh, pose. I wonder what we can cash the pose in for. Okay, is there a way to, to get yourself immune to the to the, the Lurgy? Or do we have to use it? Can, can you mount when you're on a horse in this game? Or... Was Elden Ring just too much technology for them? Oh, it's... Okay. Shield surf? Can you shield surf um, through the stuff? How do you shield surf again? You you put the shield down, and like you jump and press... There you go. To shield surf, jump X while holding a shield, and then press A in the air. All right, but you don't you don't do it anymore. Okay, why are you stopping though? Oh god, 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 oh god. Okay, we're good. You also have a little bit of time. All right, what if we do that with the uh, with the double shield? So here I am. All right, seems about the same one. What about the the spring one? Does it actually have a spring? Oh shit! Okay. Oh, that broke it. Now it's just a Zonite shield. Oh. How does that work if you add a fan to a shield? I'm pretty sure it would it would blow you up a little bit, yeah. Spiky shield seems kind of shit. Be funny if the spike uh, stuck you in place. Let's find out, chatter. <laughs> No, but it was still good. Can you sneak up on bugs to catch them? I'm gonna guess yes. Alright, we're going the wrong way. Oh, there's another one over there, I think. Fuck is crawling on my leg. Whoa. What the hell was that? That felt big. Oh man. All right, well I don't see it. Hey Gatsby. You feeling any better? Yeah, you feeling good? I'm waiting for you to puke at any time, uh, bro. Any time. You go for it if you feel like you need to, okay? When I took Gatsby out, he was eating grass. Like a cow. And uh, when a dog eats grass, usually that means they need to throw up for some reason. Oh, this is further away than I think. All right, let's uh, let's fight this guy. Oh, he's a skeleton. Let's not use our our good weapon for that. Let's let's not use the fine china. Let's use our giant spear. Yes. All right. What if we fuse? The Bokoblin arm with the long stick. Uh, does it matter what you fused first? Like, if I fuse Bokoblin arm with long stick, will it be like a Bokoblin arm that's holding a long stick? Or let's let's find out. 
Next time we'll do it the other way. I'm gonna guess it does matter. Oh, now it's like a really big, like uh, a really big, like sword instead of like a, a big, um, what you call it? Uh, a big spear. My parents' dogs eat grass every day too. They love that shit. Oh, do they really? Maybe sometimes dogs just eat grass then without needing to throw up. Unless your your, your parents' dogs are also just... <laughs> no, I don't think so. Man, those dogs t touch grass grass more than most people on the on the internet. For in Gatsby's case, it's rare that he will eat grass. So the fact that he's eating grass to me uh, indicates that he's probably feeling a little sick. So far, which game's ability set do you like more? On a gut feeling, uh, Breath of the Wilds because I'm not used to this one yet. But this one might overtake it for me. I think it's strange that they they're not also giving me all the powers from the first game. Um, I really miss the bomb one the most. Uh, the water one to get up to to make uh, ice paths on on water was also uh, the one that could have easily slipped into it. But like I mean, there's still two gaps, so maybe we're gonna get them, or I don't know. Like, it doesn't look like we're getting the bomb one, which is crazy. Um, this is basically magnesis, but better, so that's fine. So that that one's still in. Um, what was the other one? Was it stasis? I think it was stasis, right? So rewind, recall is kind of like stasis, but built in. So it's just better, better than stasis. But I like stasis too. So I think you could have recall and stasis because stasis was fun to like have something and then build momentum on it. So it's it's strange to me that they don't have them. Maybe we do. Maybe we get the water one and um and stasis. But or maybe there's like a dungeon that you get new items in. That would be fun. Like it's it's strange to me that we don't have these. But if we went upstairs and did some of the main quests again for a while, maybe we get them really quickly. Like we got the glider. Do, do, please don't spoil it. There was someone in chat yesterday um, who was spoiling shit constantly, and I didn't see it until I watched the VOD back, and I'm pretty fucking pissed about that, actually. Like, all caps spoiling shit, like, because they were trying to make me like the game more than I than I was enjoying it, so they were trying, like, no, oh, it's amazing, oh. I won't even repeat what they said, but, like, looking back, it was just super fucking annoying. Like, dude, just let me discover the game by myself, please. Oh, this is a person. Okay. Look at this cleansing light. The rumors were true. It can really restore vitality lost to gloom. It can restore vitality? Ooh. That's right. The bright core of this gigantic tree has a sacred power to heal vitality lost to gloom, or so they say. Who the fuck are you? Well, when I got here, the light was weak, and it, I wasn't, it was, wasn't able to heal anything at all until just now. Oh. I was watching, you know. It was you. It was you, Barry. You lit up the tree, didn't you, Link? It feels like something the, the arch enemy of the Yiga clan would do. Oh, no, not the Yiga clan. As does being fooled by my disguise. I'm taking you down. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I remember those. That's funny. Eightfold blade, a single edge sword of the Sheikah tribe. Its small blade, now decayed, is suited for covert actions and yields more powerful sneak strikes than ordinary blades. Blue rupee. Alright. Weak in the knees. Damn. Um, blue, if I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would... Will this last forever? Sit in the fire. Okay, doesn't seem to matter. That was funny. Alright, do we want to fuse the eightfold blade with something else? And if we do, what is it? Damn, long stick bones is really good. If we fuse the Traveler Sword and the Eightfold Blade, is it just going to be two swords on top of each other? Of course it is. Why am I even asking? Got work in the morning. Have fun plundering the Subnautica Forest Joe. Catch you in the VOD. See you later, Vitamin MT. It really does look like Subnautica, doesn't it? Subnautica with water taken away, so it looks kind of like ass. I prefer this place when the light isn't on. Okay, will it tell me what a fusing will do ahead of time? Let's see. I want to fuse the Eightfold Blade with a mushroom. And it doesn't tell me. Fuck it, let's do it. So now we have it's it's plus one, and when I attack, it just it just hits it. it there's just a mushroom on my sword now. Okay. Now yeah, this sucks. Let's take it off. All right. If I fuse, okay, let's 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 experiment a little bit. If I fuse just a normal sword, let's do the other one. Let's do soldier's broadsword. All right. If I drop it, no, I don't want to drop it. I want to drop something from my inventory. All right. So if I fuse it with a Let's do fuse power. If I fuse it with um, a Hinox tooth or a monster part, it actually shows up on the item itself. But if I fuse it with a stone, is there a better, is there like a lower power stone than this? Zone I charge, horn, I? No. 
an ox horn. That, that's a monster part as well. Horn's gonna show up. No, I'm guessing I don't have a good stone to use, to use on this. I want like a I want like a diamond, but not. Is there like a, um, a sapphire, amber? We don't have a lot of these. Opal. Is it just gonna put an opal on the end of the blade? It will, won't it? So there's no like I just want the same weapon, but like red choo choo. Let's do like choo choo jelly, right? If I if I put this on right now, like is it just going to just just gonna be a little bit of jelly on the end of my sword? Yeah. Okay. So. <sighs> That's so fucking weird. All right, I don't, I don't want that. So I just want. I guess I'll just put a horn on it. Yeah, and it, so it re this time it replaced the blade. Okay, so it's not always the same. Okay. Okay, that kind of sucks actually because it's such, it's so short. Fusions are cool. You learn the patterns. Yeah, but it's. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know how to say this without starting a fight. Like, I, I, uh, like, it's so clunky, I don't want to experiment. <laughs> I just, I, I just want to ignore this whole fucking system. This isn't fun for me. Like, <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm sorry, it just doesn't, like, it's, I don't like it. Like, <laughs> the result I, I, I think is cool, but, like, <laughs> the tinkering around with it, you know, like, it's... It's like, oh, you can, you can, you can put all the ingredients to a uh, frocks. You can put all the different ingredients together in order to make, uh, to make potions. It's like, yeah, I don't want to though. Oh shit! Somehow, Agda Bagda returned. Oh, shit! What? Whoa, okay, whoa, 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 okay, what, what are you, what are you weak to? Okay, so the blade's not doing shit. But spear was? Or was I just missing? Or do I hit the things on his back? Oh, I thought I was hitting the fucking the the little thing above his eye. I didn't know I was hitting his back. Let's see. So the spear was so long that I was hitting something behind it without realizing it. All right, that's what happened there. All right. Uh, unfortunately confusing, but okay. Can I just use the stone? Can I just use a normal fucking weapon up here? Let's find out. Oh, we're owned. Okay. Owned. Didn't have full health, so I didn't have the full health uh, um, protection. The greed. I'm a simple chatter. I see that the, the streamer died. I type in greed in the chat. kind of want some rocks. Traveler's sword, and it's not damaged. Okay. You know what? What if I went up top, and I just, like, threw bomb plants at it? I wasn't expecting it to kill me. I knew it was going to do damage, but I wasn't expecting it to kill me. <laughs> uh, greed. Yeah, greed. Yeah, true. Oh, this time it was a spear. Oh, was I on the other one that, that time? Um, is there... So all my weapon slots are full right now, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, should I combine the eightfold blade with the spear? Should I always be combining all my weapons together if I have nothing good to fuse them with? But probably, I guess. There's another weapon right here. Am I ever really gonna come back for it? I don't think so. So do I want the spear with the sword on the tip? I think I do. Let's so let's drop the uh, the weapon.
travel. Oh, I just, it was just a different one, I guess. Thank you, Colashes, for the resub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Eticus, for the uh, five gift subs. Hey, Eticus, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. I watched an NL an, 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 an clip yesterday. Can you tell? Really? Um... You've Ogdo your last frog, though. Okay, that was fucking cool. I don't have anything that can uh, break. Oh, I have a stone handed axe. I guess that works too, doesn't it? Mm, not really, actually. This is more for trees. Alright, I need to find a rock so I can put it, fuse it with this traveler's sword, uh, which is kind of a waste, actually, but because um, it's, a, it's a clean weapon, but. Yeah. There seem to be rocks all over the place in the underground. Does Zonite work just as well? I'm gonna say no, maybe? I guess I can always just turn it off if it doesn't. Nope. Bomb air? I guess I could just throw a bomb at it. Like I'm, I'm not gonna come back here afterwards. Let's just, just do it just to, to, uh, to save some time. Okay, so we want to go south, right? We're going south. Okay, we are. Okay. Oh, there's a little N on the compass, but the fucking quest marker is apparently in that direction too, so it's kind of hard to see. So the quest marker is 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 north right now for us. All right. This place seems very open down here. The hell's that? <gasps> Dungeon? Bigger? Alright, still nothing. Really? I thought I'd be able to see it by now. What the fuck? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, that's there. Okay. Oh, that made it look kind of weird. 
What's Beep. that? Alright, I definitely want to go over there. But right now I want to keep going south and I want to find uh, I want to find a, another light thing. How do I like the game so far? It's pretty good, but um, at this point in my time with it, I was enjoying Breath of the Wild way more. Oh, now we have a rock. But it wasn't a rock. Uh-oh. Uh, let's use long stick bones. Double arm. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. How far can we take this? Thanks for being a reason for you to wake up earlier than 10 a.m. You're welcome. Hope you enjoy the stream. It's going to be kind of chill. We're just playing the game. You know me. Happy-go-lucky Anderson. Always chill streams. Chill vibes. Yeah. Traveler's sword. Yeah, we're full. I'd like a couple more inventory slots, actually, but maybe that's, again, I, I liked it in the, in the other game when we didn't have a lot of inventory slots, so maybe that's just, like, asking to make the game worse. What if I should have, like, an inventory strategy that I should always have, like, two stone weapons, two spears, two so how many, how many inventory slots would I need for all that shit? Okay, seriously, like, I'm, I'm, how have we not found one yet? Is it a little to the east? I, I can't even see it, that's the troubling part. Is it behind a rock somewhere? Found what? There's these um these these little tree things that will light up the area around it. And I'm assuming, and it might be a bad assumption, I'm assuming that there's apparently a hundred of these down here. Holy shit. That um that there's that you can light up the whole map. I'm assuming, but I might be wrong. But you know what they say about uh when you assume. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Vasistas. Shit. Am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why do I not sound okay? Oh, are we going back to the surface? Wait, what? Okay, I kind of don't want to, but I mean, it's here and I want to see what this is. Oh, sh- <laughs> uh, Let's go get those pose and then we'll go, we'll use this thing. So many Path of Exile players. Are they making Delve references? Man, I feel like every single time I play Path of Exile, I just pick the wrong season to play, and the season ends up being kind of a dud or just way too complex, or you have to know so much about the game in order to get the most out of it. I would just like to have like a good, maybe a good currency season so I can actually get into the crafting and stuff. Alright, let's uh let's try it. So we're gonna go ascend, and I, I assume this is gonna take us back to the surface, but maybe it's gonna take us to like an internal thing where we can light a uh light a tree because like there should be one around here but we might be going all the way back up yeah we're yeah okay okay yeah definitely wow so this structure goes all the way down into the underground oh damn we went far well, what <laughs> 
Dragon, that was a well-fought victory, but not this time. This time, I'll put you in your place. I say to you, Dragon, you just got a lucky shot in. Aha, what now? Oh, I'm just dying from heat is what's going on right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm deleting your dragon mail. <laughs> we can climb up that, right? Right? Oh, where you go? Oh, oh, scared, huh? Scared. Oh, he's landing. Oh, shit. Okay, not so scared. Maybe scared. Maybe scared. All right. Ah, what now? Oh, shit. Wrong button. All right, he's taking damage. He's taking damage. Oh. <laughs> All right. So clearly not ready to fight this yet. We need we need some um, some fireproof armor at the very least. Okay. Clearly not ready to fight this yet. I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time, because then I would be guilty of not learning. And you know me, I learn. I want to go in the whirlpool. How do we go in the whirlpool? You know what, maybe we should go get the- should we go get the thing first? The- the tower? Okay, is that here? Okay, let's go get the tower, and then we're going to go in the whirlpool. Alright, alright, I'm having a really good time now. Holy shit, this is cool. Alright, I don't think I have enough energy to get over there with the glider. Do I have enough- uh, do I have any energy restoring food? Uh, Stam mushrooms, right? Stam mushrooms. I probably passed them. Puff shroom? Sky shroom? Did I cook them all? By type. Stam mella. Cook it to release its uh, stamina restor restoration properties. Alright, you know what? We can make it. We can make it. This will be fine. We'll make it. Don't worry. I have faith. Hey Joe, I've just started reading so Song of Ice and Fire. What do you think about it? I've tried to, to read Game of Thrones a bunch of times, and uh, I even before the show, and I, I can't do it. I think the most I ever got was like almost to the end of the first book. So in terms of storytelling, it's a lot better than, I don't really like Tolkien that much, sorry, but in terms of storytelling, like the actual plot, it's better than Tolkien, I think. But uh, in terms of how it's written, it's very Tolkien, very Robert Jordan-y, and I hate that kind of uh, writing. So it's just so fucking tedious to me. That doesn't mean you shouldn't enjoy it. Um, it's just very tedious to me. All right, this this is a Korok. This is a Korok. We burn this force down, and the Korok is gonna go wah ha ha, and then it's gonna die of uh, die of uh, burning. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm calling it. I'm like Babe Ruth calling the shots. All right. Why isn't it spreading? Spread? No. You ma I was aiming for the leaves. Not dry, they're brown. Are they really not? All right, let's chop it all down. Where's my wahaha? Give me my wahaha. What the hell? Where's my wahaha? So no wahaha? Oh man, those trees are dead. Hey. My spear! Where'd it go? Did 
Did it fall all the way down there? The axe? Aim up! Aim up! Alright. Alright, we did it. World first. Oh, there's my spear. Uh oh. So in the first game, we put the rock in to get the Korok seed, and in this one, we take it out to get the Korok seed. Wait, wait actually, what the fuck? Why, why is this here? What if we fuse with that thing? Topaz rod, zonite powered. I kind of like our spear. Should I throw away one of our Boko Reapers or the two handed axe? Let's start with the two handed axe. Okay, I want to go and get that. What is it? I thought it was a, a Korok balloon. Octo balloon. Oh, it was an Octo. An Octo Bogdo. Okay. It's a small spear now. Oh, what happened? Did it did, did it break the fusing when um when it got hit by lightning? That's lame. All right, let's fuse it with this big huge fucking spear. Let's with this big huge fucking rock. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, it's just it just becomes a regular rock. What what is going on here? What's this? I don't understand this. This feels like it should be something. Hmm. Okay. All right, where was that uh Oh man, where was that um, dude? The uh, oh man, the Korok. Holy shit! Oh, fuck. One one week of bad sleep, and I, my brain is just mush when it comes to to recalling names and stuff, and just basic communication. Holy fuck, getting old sucks. I mean, it has been a particularly awful bad, awful week of uh, of sleep. So maybe that's it. Maybe we should be focusing on that and not the getting old part. But god damn it. All right, so where does it where does it go? It didn't go that way. Is it over there? Is that it? Sneaky river snail. <laughs> Not so sneaky for me. Haha, <laughs> I got you, snail. Haha, <laughs> 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 you found me. All right, where is uh, Hess, Hess 2? I'm guessing that we should follow the main quest for a little bit and we should get all the rest of the upgrades and stuff, but like, I don't know, I, I just like to fuck around and just go wherever the, the wind takes me, man. The first thing I did in Breath of the Wild was I went to every zone and if something caught my eye, I would go there and see it. And if not, I would, which, sorry, there's there was no if not, there was always something that caught my attention. But when I ran out of things that were immediately calling to my attention, I um I just went to the uh, the tower uh, to unlock the area, and then I looked around again to see if there's anything else. And if there wasn't, uh, or when I exhausted all that, I moved on to the next area, rinse and repeat. I did that for every region, and only after that did I start doing the main quests and doing the uh, the divine beasts and stuff like that. And I had a good time for the first half of the game for that, and then the second half of the game was ruined. So I'm a little leery of doing that again, but like, but that's how I want to play. So like, I don't know, maybe I'm gonna like make it even worse for myself if I go like try and work with the game. I don't know. 
Isn't that how you're supposed to play open world games? A according to every single Nintendo fan that hates my video, no. Oh, is that another hole down into the, uh, into the underground? All right, what do we do? You jump, jump and confirm. Oh, we're in Liernia. The Bokoblins go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The Bokoblins go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. Let's eat some food. All right, that's a fairly chunky pack. All right, we kill the small ones first. Wait, can't we like fire light? No, it's gonna hit us, we're in the water too. Um, let's run in with Bokoblin arm bones and we'll break it. And also it'll scare them because we're using the bones of the brethren. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, they're scattered, get them! I see you have the power of fusing too. How is that on a flurry rush? How was that a flurry rush? Okay, this weapon's doing nothing. Oh, the, the fuse broke, okay. Blue boss Bokoblin horn. An axe shaped horn with a band to identif identify it as uh, belonging to a leader. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase attack power. Moderately. 16 is moderately. Okay. Or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Alright. What the fuck? Boss Bokoblin Fang. Ooh. Quite a lot of them. Okay. Well, actually not that many. Pretty good. Oh, we got some bows. Good. I, I was running low on bows. Okay. So, in a couple hours, I'm going to have essentially unlimited amounts of these as long as I keep killing shit. All right. So, every so now every single every single encounter with with an enemy pack is going to be a net positive on the weapon infusing tank, which is good, but at the same time, my my gamer brain wants me to immediately go, then why does the system exist at all? Surely they could have had the same effect with a different kind of system that worked better that that cuts down on the TDM. Variety? Well, it remains to be seen if there's going to be enough variety to justify it, because Breath of the Wild did not have that, but maybe, maybe... Oh, we have a tree branch. Yeah, we don't want a tree branch. Plus, you get fun... It's... This is not fun for me, but maybe I'm in the minority. It's too clunky to be fun for me. Do you feel like this game justifies reusing the same overworld, or does it sour the experience? Too early to tell, but so far, it's not soured for me. Keeps you from running to get one broken uh, item early on and then reusing it for the whole entire game. Yeah, but that's an issue of balance. That's that's again. That's like okay. Yeah, we could, but we could change it to have a, a different system. Do you know? Just just because that would be a problem if all we did was take away durability doesn't mean that's the only option we have. Like, we could remove the durability and also do a different system, right? Let's let's can we fuse it with a log? Let's extra th thick stick fuse it with a log. Let's do it. 
Ha ha ha! All right, that's pretty cool. I'm not saying the system is devoid of fun, and like, like this is cool right now. I'm not saying it's devoid of any positives. It absolutely does have some positives, but I don't think the positives outweigh the clunkiness and the tedium that is going to like set in, because I know it's going to set in because I played the first game, that it's just going to get really, really annoying for the last half, I'm going to guess. Unless the fusion system is an absolute banger that has some surprises left in store, which it might. Again, like new game, really early on. I didn't play the leaked version, so I'm I'm, I'm completely blind. I didn't see any spoilers. Um, but like, if it doesn't, then I know I'm gonna get tired of this before the game's done, long before the game's done. I just think it would be way better if every single treasure chest gave you some sort of currency that you go to a separate screen and spend the currency on a random chance of getting a really good weapon. Maybe rank them, and if you get a really really good weapon, then that you know it opens up new gameplay options. Alright, what's down there? Let's do this first. It's broken. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting that. What do I do? How do I fix it? Do I go down there and fix it? Wait, what? I think it's something as simple as when you fuse an arrow, it keeps the same material fused for the next shot would have been great. It really, it's really the same thing for the system as a whole. A few minor changes would make huge difference. Yeah, I think so too. I think, I think the game just needed, um, <laughs> the game just needed like a shit ton of quality of life, uh, things. Yeah, like that. What problems like this always make me wonder, and it's such a shitty thing to say, but it happens in almost every game I play where I'm like, did anyone even play the game that was making it? And of course they did. It's just I, like you get blind to the own short to your own shortcomings of your game when you're making it because you're so used to it being that way that you can't imagine it any other way. Which is why I guess testing is so important and also kind of really hard to get quality testing feedback uh, f for your game to to know what's worthwhile and not. Um, I'm guessing we have to go down to fix it, but I'm surprised that this is broken. It's like, I don't understand how anyone on the team played this game and wasn't like, you know, why don't we have it so, you know, the, the, the material stays on the weapon or the, the shot or, hmm, the amount of uh, buttons that we have to press to do something basic is, is kind of, is kind of fucking, oh, whoa, it's kind of nuts. So shouldn't we do something else? And it's like, yeah, but they were just so used to it because the development went on for so long that it just became second nature to them. Oh, the dragon is going down. Oh, man, there's so much to do. I kind of want to go over it. What the fuck is going on over there? Huh. Oh, no, let's go in the well. Let's go in the well. Let's go in the well. I'm not going to get there in time to get in, to, to go down with the dragon. Hello? The ring? Oh, are we getting lured by a ghost or something? Because, uh... Yeah, some boulders said to break this open if you don't have anything. Um, because, uh... I don't... I thought this was coming from... Oh, no, we're, we're good. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Who the hell are you? Oh. You! What are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Sorry. I right, wait, really? If you leave me here, I don't know what will happen to me. Yeah, see ya. Sorry, I'm busy. Okay, I guess I'll help you. I'm begging you, could you please help me? What's wrong? I set off a trap in the ruins and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Just teleport out. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entr entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'm just waiting here, trusting you. And then when we get out, it's going to be another one of those uh, uh, Yiga clan. Okay, so we have to go around? Or... Oh, ho. And then the treasure flew out of his ass back into the treasure chest. No, it didn't work. Okay. Wait, what? But but I'm stuck. Do I just teleport out? Oh yeah, ascend. Fuck my god. I used it earlier too. So it just kind of teleport up, but faster. Can we fuse with a ruby? No. Why aren't they auto pick up then? That's kind of weird. Iron Troon. Uh oh!
Hey, it's Vampire Survivors. <laughs> Plus two chatter. Plus two. Alright, do we go down that? He said it was a cave. Thank you. I knew you'd rescue me. I don't have much, but please take this. Purple Ruppy. This is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Well, I'm going to stick it. Wait, I don't have time to chat. I have urgent business at the tower, so I have to go. Thanks again. All right, see you later. This was it? The chat, it's empty. He looted it. <coughs> However, you know what? We need to, we need to save it for the, uh, for the next person. There we go. Now, no one will ever be stuck in here again. Fuse chest? We tried already. You can't fuse the chest. Maybe that chest you can? Maybe there's different kind of chests? Is he doing it on purpose? What am I doing on purpose? Oh, there's something here. Shit. Uh... Ooh, we got a Tupaz. Alright, anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go try the other well. Dude, fuse a bat to a chest. Oh, dude, bat chest. Fuse a blunt to another blunt. Oh, dude. I don't mean to be so blunt, but I'm high right now. Glowing cave fish. Okay, that looks like something over there. Oh, shit. The road of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. That's why I chose to travel alone. Choose to travel alone. But this life does have its share of lonely nights. That's why you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have a strange effect on of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I, I produced more light than I did after my bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Nah. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experiment to do. Who knew the world? There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Chef Ori Tama Tamu, the lonely cook. Oh man. Alright, so next time we're down in, in. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should cook it right now. While we're, nah, we'll find. Uh, now we don't have enough hearts to do cooking. Fuck, I kind of want to do something. Oh, wait, when are we going back here? Let's just ascend. Oh, man. Good thing that when they made these towers, they made them with all these, like, like, like bumps and ridges, so, you know, we couldn't use our ascension ability. Good thing. Hey, how's it going? Is it working now? Oh. Hello, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was the only layer of first with mates on the tower. This room wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity by fixing it in a jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. Oh, are you at every tower? Great. I probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as, as, as soon as I calm down. All right. Oh man, we're playing docked mode.
can grab this whole thing? What? What do you mean? Owned. What the f What the fuck is that? Alright, where we go? Wait, it explodes. Ah, oh, fucking. Okay, we're good. Alright, you stay where you're floating, right? Alright, where are we going? We just need to put some sails on this so we can go wherever we want. Is that where we were before? Yeah. So, is that the biggest one up here? Hard to tell. There's a small one down there. Where did we come from? Right down there, right? Will it recommend? Will it register that there's water right below me? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it did. No, it didn't. Kind of did. I don't know. <gasps> a fairy. Oh. But why? Alright, where would that take us though? Just just anywhere? Let's see where it takes us. But first, oh, there, is there something in that cloud? Oh, <gasps> You sneaky hobbits. You sneaky hobbits. Alright, that, apparently the top of that tower can come off. So I need to be able to stand up there in order to... Okay, maybe I can move one of those up. Okay, I, it won't let me move it very far up. That's weird. Alright, so it desperately wants to limit how high I can take this, which I understand. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I could I can move that. It seemed like it to me. No? Maybe it just looked like it? When I was up there, it looked like I could move something with uh, with Ultra Hand. Let's let's climb up and see again. Maybe I was just misreading how the how the train looked when I had it on when I had it on. See how red it looks? It kind of looks red like that looks red. Is this movable or no? It looks super red. Oh, I guess it would go green. If, wait, what? Uh oh. No, I guess not. Alright, never mind. Uh, let's use the bird. Or is there something down underneath it that we, we need to use that shit for? It feels like... A little suspicious that there's nothing here. But maybe this is just a launching pad for the, uh... For the bird. There was also a fairy here. Maybe you get the fairy. If you can actually catch it. Sorry, gamer brain is making me check to make sure there's nothing around before we go. Seems like it's fine. Alright. What if we loaded up the plane with like as much explosive barrels as we possibly can get and stick them all on there with Ultra Hand and then fly it into the dragon on, on the bridge? What? What? 
Did it hear me? I'm not doing that. Oh, look at all these explosive barrels. We could totally do it. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Should we use the explosive barrels? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> shit, shit. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. God damn it. Why do I keep... You know what? I know why. It's because of Jedi Survivor. I keep pressing L1 instead of uh, L2 for blocking. Oh, fucking hell. The games, man. The different controls. Sorry, chat. I'm trying to be cute, and it's not working out for me. Do I have a throwaway weapon? No, I don't. Okay. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, Can't get me! Can't get me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? There's no way that hit me! Really? Really? Didn't look like it hit me. Maybe it did. What? Greed, greed for greed for sure. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Definitely greed. Definitely greed. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Just a touch too close. Oh, back on our bullshit. Back on our bullshit. Does Joe have brain damage? What the fuck? <laughs> Nintendo fan coming into the chat. I know what I'm gonna do to preempt any criticism I have. I'm gonna say some, you know, 
really reasonable criticism of him that's gonna get people on my side and expose him as the fraud that he is. All right, I went into the chat. All right, time to roll initiative. Volition, what do you think we should say? Tell the chat that you think Joe has brain damage. That'll show them. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That'll win them on, on their side. On your side. Fucking hell. Uh oh. I do though, yeah. You're right, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh! Oh fuck, I thought I had the block up. I thought I had the block up! Hello, why is the channel 2 not supplied with VODs anymore? I just learned that you return to streaming and I miss so many games no longer available on Twitch past broadcasts. Uh, you can see some of them uh, on Discord, but right now I'm in the process of getting them all ready for, for uh, channel 2. There's going to be a lot of uploads in the future. Uh, probably so much that I'm going to hit the daily cap on uploads for YouTube, so it's going to be spaced out over those days. Um, I have most of them ready already for, for the recent set, but um, some of the older ones still have to be batch uh, rendered. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I have close to 100 ready to go onto, uh, onto uh, the second channel. I think it's close to 100. They're spread over this computer and the other one. But there are different versions of it if you wanna if you wanna go see. Like there's um, you can go on Jazz, you can see it. There's highlight uh, stuff that channels on YouTube. There's also people that re-uploaded the vods onto YouTube. Some of them even have chat. Um, you can go watch them there. But they're not official. It's not official. Not that it matters. It's still the same content. All right. So this guy's fairly tanky. All right, I was just a little slow with getting the uh, the thing, obviously, then. Oh, now I can't use a shield. Shit. Oh, all right, sh shoulder shield. Sh soldier shield broken. Fucking held the wrong lock on button again. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. Good. This is exactly where I wanted to be. What? How did you survive that? So this has a cooldown to it for dealing damage, I guess, or no? It kind of sucks. Ooh, lots of meat. What should we fuse onto this? Should we fuse onto a shield? And then we have a, a really fucking... It's going to turn into a spiked shield, not a spiked ball on a shield, right? Why did I expect any different? How did I die there? I'm really surprised I didn't die there. 
Fire Breath Lethal Blade, 52. A Claymore, now decayed, once carried by Knights of Hyrule, reson resonates with the desire to protect at all costs and yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. Oh, that's all the time. Oh, man, that's all the time. Oh, holy shit. Oh, does this use durability whenever you use it? Even if it's not hitting anything because it has a fire attack component to it? Probably, I'm guessing. Uh, do we want to... What weapon's that? Sturdy wooden stick. High durability. Do we want to fuse any of these together? Is there anything we want to lose? The Bako Reaper kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. Great. Armor shard. <laughs> Alright, now it has an armor shard on the end. It's been two hours if you want to keep the cadence. Do you mean uh, to keep um, the break thing at the same? Yeah, we should probably take a break. One second, let me just bust through here. Toasted hearty truffle. Alright, this is quite the, the nice treasure trove. So this camp was probably one of the more interesting ones. Uh, was there anything like this in Breath of the Wild? There was kind of like some towers. Uh, there was like some skulls. I don't remember anything like this. This is kind of interesting. This 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 place right here. What's that? Soldiers Claymore. We probably want to take that, and we probably want to combine it with the uh, with something. Let me out. Now I'm good. Gnarled thick stick. Thick. Are right, we getting some nice weapons here? Let's take away the... Are we really going to use the Topaz Rod? I don't think we are. Let's get rid of the Topaz Rod. Luminous Stone. Can these break? I'm going to guess yes. Roasted Bass. Alright, there's shit in them. I don't know if we can break these open with... Um... With hitting them. They're metal. Probably can. Tossing out his best weapon. Is it? Like, I mean, it seems pretty situational to me. I don't know. I don't I don't really like using the, the, the wands. I don't really use them much in the original game either. That much. That much, that much. Redundant there. Nice nice talking, Joe. Um, not my favorite. I could have sworn I escaped. I suppose it was just a momentary delusion, alas. Say, you there? Would you mind breaking me out of this cell? Dude, I'm in it with you. Uh -huh. Thank you, I'm saved. I was spared, uh, thinking no one would find me here. You might be wondering how I got here. Well, I, you see, I knew that you would come along to this camp and clear out the guys to get some food and some weapons, and I knew that you would c c try to get me out of the cage, and that I knew I could ambush you because I'm a Yuga spot. A fine question. To explain, I must tell you about the Blood Moon. Some nights, no matter the moon's phase, it rises full and red. Precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson, and then defeated monsters appear again. There you have it. The Blood Moon. It's my life's work to research this event. Why do the monsters revive? What connects them to the Blood Moon? I thought if I studied the monsters' e ecology, I would discover something, but I got too close, and here I am. Please, take this for saving me. Stabs him in the, in the chest. A fish? You want another? Alright. Energizing meat and mushroom skewer. No, that's not enough to properly convey my gratitude. Here. Enduring elixir. Restore stamina and temporarily extends your stamina wheel. The additional stamina will disappear as it's used. Rain tonight. Uh, rain right now. Whenever the moon is hidden, I don't feel like myself. Well, you have to excuse me. It seems dangerous to ground, don't you? Don't you think? It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. All right. What do we want? To, what do we want to throw away? I, I kind of feel bad leaving the topaz rod. <sighs> like boulder sledge is kind of shit, right? We only need one thing to break open. But then I kind of want the claymore too. The claymore's pretty good. The claymore we could we could uh, we could attach to something else, even another claymore. What if we got two claymores together? What if we got the topaz rod, took the fusion away, and then fused it with the uh, the claymore? <gasps> Traveler's sword. Should we combine it with the claymore? Let's do it. Aha! Now we have an even bigger sword. This is never gonna stop looking stupid to me, is it, chat? When in doubt, fuse it out. When in doubt, ope it out. And fuse it out.
Blue Nightshade. Increase your stealth. Shock fruit. Blue Nightshade. Oh, what's that? Oh, who are you, dude? What's just? Oh, it's just a lizard. Oh man, I hate fighting lizards. Oh, I don't like fighting lizards. What? Come on, do that again. Do it again. Do it again. Ooh, a blue lizard horn. Blue lizard tail. Alright, kind of feel like maybe we're not supposed to be in this area. Everything is dropping like kind of much higher level shit than even. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's, let's just go. Do we have a long weapon? Oh, let's use the thick knot. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, maybe we do actually. No, we don't. Shit, shit. Okay, we need to take a break. Uh, let me go find a, uh, a nice spot to take the break. I've just discovered your YouTube channel and I binge watched your videos. I demand Witcher 3. You'll get it, you'll get it, don't worry. What if we fused a bunch of, um, a bunch of explosive barrels to the rocket and then launched it at, at the, the dragon? Hmm. All right, is he gonna get cold from exposure here or no, is he gonna be fine? Let's eat, um, Energizing meat and mushroom skewer. All right, there we go. All right, I'll be back in five minutes. I'm gonna go pee. I'm also gonna get a drink. Oh shit! Well, good luck with that. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Uh, who turned out the lights? Oh, okay. Do you think if you fight the dragon while it's raining, he has like a debuff or whatever, or he doesn't have like his uh, special firepower around him? I'm gonna say yeah. Let's find out, but then we have to fight the dragon again, and it's gonna getting up there is kind of a pain in the ass. And I want to go through the whirlpool. I want to find out now though. Shit. Splash fruit. Swim speed when ingested. That's good. Ah, uh, he's back. I hate him so much. This will be fine. This is fine. Game over. Discovery, Lake Hylia Whirlpool Cave. Are we the baddies? Right, what are these for? 
There's Pose, there's Koroks, there's there's those, and there's like one other thing, isn't there too? Like, oh, and there's also the the battery power packs thing. There's a lot of uh, different collectibles to find this time, which is good. I like that. But I wonder what they're for. Ooh. Oh, it's a shrine, but it's invisible. Hmm. Have you found some of the old NPCs again? I haven't played this, so I don't know if they're even here. I think we found... I think Pura was in the first game. Uh, Zelda, obviously. Um, apart from that, no. I don't think there's anybody else that we found. If I ascended here, wouldn't I end up at the bottom of the lake? Okay, one second. Let's just go unlock the shrine first so we have the teleport back. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it to, at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Is it kill the dragon? Oh. Oh. Alright, well, uh, that's janky as fuck. Having cut up on the vo other rods, are the rewards for finding stuff, um, a shit as the first game? So far, yeah, kinda. There is more collectibles, so we don't know what to do yet. Well, chat does. I don't, and I like it that way. So, but so far, it's it's uh, yeah, not that great. Huh. I wonder. Can I can I fly in the tower again and see if I can get to that green thing, the green beam? I don't think that this tower is going to. Can't see the green beam from here. I don't think that tower is going to um, make it over there. Is it? That's too far. Hmm. How do we get there then? I wonder, can I, like, use those fans and, like, build something on that platform to go wherever I want? Alright, is that where I have to go? I'm not making that. There's no way I'm making that. Okay, so, if I am judging this correctly... Oh, there's there, there it is. We want to go... here. Alright, that's where we want to go. Alright, how do we get there? So I'm gonna try making with um with the wind turbines that are here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, make a platform and get all the way over there, cause they float. So as long as uh, we our energy comes back, we'll be fine. All right, where is this ferry? Come here, ferry. Oh crap! That thing does not like moving with the rockets on it. Alright, where was the other one? Those cubes look, look like a PSU. They really do, don't they? Yeah, that's true. Okay, for some reason, I think this isn't going to work. Okay, well, it does, it's just I point them the wrong way. Okay. Alright, so where are we going again? We're going to that one. Alright, so at some point, I'm going to take these off, and I'm just going to make them shoot down. Oh, shit. Actually, that's a problem, isn't it? How am I going to do that? Oh, well, we'll figure it out. That's a problem for future Joe. Alright. Well, we are certainly getting there quickly. The cube floats forever? Yes. Do you think it would be faster, more efficient, if we just had one turbine? And if I do, if I take one off, is it gonna snap away? Maybe we don't, maybe we don't want to fuck with it. It's working. 
Recharge is a lot slower when you let it completely run out. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Well, if I keep hitting it, won't they break? Because that that's what happened with the plane. You have battery refills in your inventory? That sounds like consumables to me. What stream do you think this is? Is it slower if you let it fill out completely? Feels about the same to me. Alright, so there's a proximity limit where you can take the things. Alright, that's kind of lame actually. I really don't like that. That's lame. Definitely not ready. Definitely not ready. It seemed like the heads had uh, independent health bars. Oh shit. No, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, fucking no. Okay. All right. See you later. Oh, there's something over there. Shit. 2019 Joe would do it. If I had heat resistant clothes, I would actually sit here and kill it. I don't know if I have enough uh enough fucking arrows though. Like I'd have to go do that too. But yeah, I would I would sit here and kill it. But without the heat resistant clothes, it's it's actually literally impossible for me to kill it right now. So I'm not wasting my time. Did you try to jump in the whirlpool? I did, and it took us to a little cavern cave thing that I had a shrine in it, and it made this beam appear, and the beam goes all the way up to this floating island, and we need to get to the floating island, which we marked with blue, um, in order to uh, open the shrine. What the fuck was that button there? There was a button prompt. No? Oh, climb down. Okay. Whoa, holy shit. Discovery. Lake Helia Chasm. Or some say Chasm. Ho oh, ho! Oh, damn! Damn, Joe! Holy shit! Okay, you would think there'd be one close by. We don't have it. All right, I want to find another one down here and see. Like, where are we on the map? What's that? Last location. What does that mean? Oh damn! There's so much of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was expecting actually. All right, I don't think we can run through that, can we? Fucking Mario needs to come clean this up, man. Oh, oh. Oh. All right. 
actually kind of fun. Uh oh, what the fuck are you guys? Oh, what the fuck are you guys? No, 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 no let's be friends. Basilisks? Are you dead? Yeah. Alright, so two hits and you're dead. Oh, you drop seeds. Oh, nice. This is kind of tedious. If you were just listening and not watching, I was calling using the Ultra Hand to drag things out of the evil muck kind of tedious. Not the whole game kind of e tedious. We need a Pogdo emote. It's a pretty good emote, isn't it? Frogs are a common enemy. But we have enough emotes. We just have to do the saxophone thing. I thought you meant the entire video game tedious. Uh, well, that goes without saying. All right. This seems to be like a path for... Oh, there is one here. Okay, cool. I guess we went the right way. All right. Do 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 do. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> World's most useless light tree? What the fuck? This is smallest. All right, we need to do ascend and bug it out and, and make it go all the way up to the island because we're, we're right below the floating island right now underground. That's neat that the uh, the pings on the map persist through the layers. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, what is this for then? Is this is this just to have a shortcut down here so we can teleport down here? But it seems like it. What's that? Oh, that's the that's the chasm. All right, and we can't get. If we got all the way up there, could we climb over? Are we like below something right now? I'm sorry chat, but I promised myself if I streamed this game, I would play it exactly how I would if I wasn't streaming it. So like, I would be like, what the fuck, where does that go? So here's what we're doing. I don't know if that's a place we can get to, but maybe it is. It doesn't look like it actually. It worked with Survivor. Survivor's been weird. Like, there have been like, a couple of news articles, like, written, like, I, I say news articles, like, gamer articles about, about, like, uh, the breaks that we did. Like, multiple ones. Like, uh, a big streamer, like, like watched the clip and reacted to it. You know, the, the clips are, are, like, getting, like, a lot of views, a lot of attention. And yet, viewership is, like, fucking tanked for those. Like, overall, too. Alright, doesn't look like anything's up here. Maybe? The one where the world despawn was so funny. That's my favorite clip now. That was such a good clip. Time to ascend. I don't think there's a straight floor here to ascend through. But I'm willing to try. Uh, yeah, okay, there's nothing up here. Alright, well, it was fun. I'm glad I did it. And then we get to try to ascend. Hello, are you that Star Wars guy from TikTok? I am Donkey. Yes, that's true. Yep. Welcome. In this game, you can be a Goomba. What? You can't be a Goomba? Whatever, Nintendo. In this game, you can build a Goomba. Clip one of him building something to, to go into an enemy that ends up blowing up in his face. Hard segue to attempt number two of him trying the same thing. Cut to another funny clip of him. Cut back to him doing attempt number three. All right, all right. Here's we, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This time it's going to work. Here we go. All right, you know what? I'm really enjoying the uh, the depths, but let's uh, let's actually go and do the main quest a little bit. Crisis of Hyrule is that the one we have to do? I wanna I wanna see if we get another power or like spend our Koroxes or something. I think it was here, wasn't it? Whoa! What the fuck just dropped over there? Oh, uh, I remember from the from the first game. Didn't the shooting the falling stars sometimes look like they were close, but they were actually really really fucking far away? Yeah. Alright, let's just go back. Maybe we should look at the clothes store too. Maybe there's some fire resistant clothing and we can spend the next 12 hours of our life trying to kill that dragon with four hearts. 
And then at the end of it, when we finally kill it, someone will say, now do it with three. God, I don't even know if I have enough enough fucking weapons to do it. Even if I if I went there with the full weapon array, like full slots, do I even have enough slots to kill it? Greetings, do you have fire resistant armor? Oh. Hey, welcome. It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stock together but I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran the store back in my hometown, so I hope you'll find you'll support uh, my place here. Buy my stuff. Oh we oh we can sell! Oh buy my statue, buy buy my Korok frond. Alright, so we can sell shit. Can I sort by most expensive? No? No? Really? 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 What? Uh, okay. Your home. I come from a small fishing town called Lurland Village. Lur? It's way to the south, on the southeast corner of Hyrule. I used to be a peaceful place too, then the pirates arrived. Oh no, not pirates! I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, they had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I, I don't know what's going on there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Turns out the pirates are friendly, you never find out, because you ran away too fast. Please, let me know if there's anything you'd like. Anything you need? Alright, let's see. Alright, let's go over and see. Alright, you have... Hi Hylian Tunic. A common garb that achieved widespread popularity in Hyrule, particularly among travelers. Its light yet sturdy fabric doesn't limit movement. Hylian Hood. A hood woven, woven using traditional Hyrulean methods. It's made from a sturdy material to protect travelers from the harsh sun, harsh sun and weather. You know what? Let's get it. Uh, yeah. yeah let's, let's buy it. Yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put it on, too. Aw, oh, damn. We're looking pretty pretty dapper. Look at us, man. Is this worth the frame do drops, though, of having a uh, another piece of uh, clothing to render on the screen? All right. We can't get the trousers. All right. Arrows? All right. 20 rupees for five arrows? What the hell? What kind of robbery are you pulling off here? What the hell, love? What the fuck? 20 rupees for five arrows. What? Can't believe this shit. Oh, wasn't there like a rest spot and I could get free food around here? Hey, free food, please. I'd like it. Wrong button. Goodness, Link. I didn't know that Skyview Tower could blast someone into the air. Incredible. I saw you hurtling through the sky from right here. Oh, but excuse me. I'll let you through to the emergency shelter. Ew. Hey, it's me. Open up. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Oh, I will. All right, let's go brush our teeth. It's been forever. Wait, what? There's just so many people down here chilling. Hey, do you have any arrows? Oh. Hey, oh, hey, is that you, Link? I've been nosed down, so I don't know what's happening around me half the time. That's pretty... In this is pretty involved, so I'm going to keep sitting here while I wrench on this. You might have heard, but when the upheaval happened, all the weapons decayed. I poured so much energy into trying to fix them, but it's been no use. Th th this, that's how they always were. Yeah, just before the upheaval, gloom began pouring out of the ground. It clung to the weapons, pulsing as if alive. We watched as the weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. It was all pretty wild. I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, I've given up trying to make sense of most things. Oh, yeah. In case nobody has mentioned it yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. Though they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. Oh no. Oh, you you have a quest. Alright, what's your quest? Oh? Hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I'm the hero of Hyrule. I can say that's because I'm a newcomer to- Oh, my name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy. For today's menu, we have fruit and mushroom mix that'll rev you right up. Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but we don't have any fruit or mushroom. I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to the ritual flavor. Hmm, my nose is detecting aroma. A sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be you? Do you have an apple? Yeah, sure, take that. Yeah, here you go. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack of some grub. Hold on a sec. I'm calling it Bramano's special special fruit and mushroom mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? Uh, I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. The tutorials never end. Never end. Endless tutorials. Hey, I know that face, and any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in the shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from, anyway? 
while well, you taking any of it outside selecting a challenge from your adventure log okay thank you all right didn't have time all right cool Yay! Chanting stamina, stamina, stamina. Okay, where are all these weapons I keep hearing about? Baco Reaper, Traveler's Sword. Okay, that's it. You were talking about two weapons. Alright, well, this place sucked later, weebs. Man, the stamina just goes down so fast, doesn't it? Holy fuck. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how'd it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Yeah, good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You want to make a point of visiting them all. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Herba to the northwest. Next up is Elden from the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanaryu in to the east. I didn't say that right. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Ooh, four this time. I can't say for certain, but I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Because this is what you do on every quest. Hmm. Hey, Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. I was at the zoo. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over, at, over in Harbor recently. All right, so that's the first one we go to. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in here, say, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about them, about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. Please go to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. Go to Rito Village. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheavals, many chasms, and new ruins. Go to Rito Village. I'll also be looking into the different villages, like Rito Village, which is the one you should go to. Someone somewhere might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around uh, Hyrule Link. We'll find Princess Zelda one way or another. Another... All right, where should we go? Hmm. Hmm. Wait, where's Herba? Herba Northwest. Yeah, it is North. I did have the right one. Okay, so we're let's go. Let's go. Because I'm sure that the first way we go, we're going to find Hetsu. And we can start using our uh, Korok Seeds. Dude, herb. Oh, we can pick up some herb while we're there, too. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, it's all working out. Aw, oh, dude. We'll smoke it up at Lake Hylia, and then we'll get so high, we'll get to that floating island. Aw, oh, dude. Man, Hyrule got wrecked. See, this is what Breath of the Wild should have felt like in terms of the destruction that's been, like, like inflicted on the land. Oh, we got a ruby. Nice. Now, the whole point was that Breath of the Wild bounced back already. Was it? That was the whole point? Okay. Why did Link have to save anything, then? Seems like it would have been better for everyone if Link hadn't done anything. I don't think Breath of the Wild had a point. Really? But it's flat. Am I too low? Huh. Oh, it's too low. Okay. Or is uh is it not uh, flat up here? Ah, it's not flat up here. Okay, it wasn't that. Okay. Wahaha. -ha? Okay. It turns out there's no wahaha. -ha. I want to go do that shrine. It's important to get some stamina right now. I think. If we ever see a shrine, we should do it. You know what, tree? You can live. I don't care. 
I'm playing the game, and I'm thinking that the huge open world filled with little secrets like Korok Seeds isn't meshing very well with the vehicle construction system. If you want, you can fly above the map all the time, but you're missing the secrets below. The aha are dragging the game down, maybe. I tried to fly above the map, and it didn't work. Maybe there's a, a better way of doing it later. Yeah, um, I guess uh, people are just going to say, well, then don't play that way, Lamayo, but that, that sounds like an interesting system to, um, to engage with. So maybe you can't have a, a good experience in every area in this game. What's that? Oh, it's materials. Okay. Oh, I just heard copy pasta. Oh, man. Took it seriously, too. I'm slipping. A windy device. Yep. That's what they call me. I'm a dad, chat. It's a fart joke. Dad's fart, that's what we do. It's the law. I got here before having the glider. It was a fun one glitching up this first wall. Was it? <laughs> nice one. Didn't we do this already? All right, there's no way that's gonna work, is it? Is there no energy meter in shrines? I was just about to ask that. It seems like there isn't. So that's not it. Which makes sense, because why would that work? Maybe if I actually turned it the other way? Yeah, I fucked this up. My original idea my original idea was to put them underneath on the floor, but I can't do that without attaching them. I guess I could drop it. Oh, it still doesn't work. Alright, what's this for? Is there a chest up there? Get it. What's this for? Oh, there's a chest on it. Man, it was a puzzle just figuring out where the what the fuck what I was even trying to get do there or try to get. All right, there we go. Same shit again. Whoops. Alright, are we done? Oh, seems like we're done. Okay, well, this shrine sucked. It hasn't been a single good one yet. This shrine sucked and blowed. Would you say the shrines are much better than Breath of the Wild? Nope. Honestly, I think so far they've been worse. Nintendo will take no notes, everybody. Nope, we're just going to do whatever the fuck we want. Kind of Chad-like, can't deny it, but what the fuck. We heard your criticisms, and we respond to that by saying, fuck you. You know what? Maybe they didn't hear any criticism, because it was just drowned out with, oh my god, we love you. Endless 10s out of 10. This is so finicky, man. Ugh. 
Like, don't get me wrong, Breath of the Wild was a banger game, all right? It did a lot of things really well, and at, at least half of it is just, like, fucking incredible. But this is what happens when, like, you can't, like, really criticize something, I guess, or, like, everything is just, like, beaten down. Like, you, you get the, the next game having so many of the same problems. It's gonna be the same verdict again, I'm, I'm gonna guess. Like, yeah, some really great things, some really cool ideas, but... Man, the shrines are a waste of time. Do we want to take this? I don't think we do. How would you fix the shrines? I went into great detail in the, uh, with multiple different avenues that they could do it uh, in the video I did on Breath of the Wild. And those are only my ideas. There's there's, there's different ideas too. Like no one, no one has to do what the fuck I said. Like those were just like, it was like, oh, Nintendo should do exactly this because I know better because I fucking don't. Like it was, hey, I can think of some things. And I think they're reasonable, and I still think they're reasonable. And a lot of people thought they were reasonable too, so I, I think that th those took the test of time. Um, or the, the test of, like, uh, audience reception. Um, so what else could Nintendo think? Legendary developers Nintendo. Alright, do you want to go down there? I think we do. Didn't Ocarina of Time have a bunch of, like, little caves like this in, uh, in its overworld? This well proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold. Cozy, really, for a well. I know it's no need for heat-resistant, chilly ingredients or cold-resistant, warm ones. I cooked for pleasure instead of survival. For a time, I considered tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my days. But times have changed. The upheaval formed a, a myriad of new caves. Consider my curiosity peaked. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials. And I, Ori Tamu, intend to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> if you seek fortune, keep moving on. Chef Ori Tamu, master of cuisine. All right, plus two. Hold on. Toughness. Okay, is that it? Is all sound here? It seems like it. All right. Actually, come to the. It was kind of. It was kind of a dickish for me to say. Just go watch the video if you want to hear my ideas. Like I'm on. I'm. I'm here. We're on a stream and we're talking about the sequel. And I shouldn't just like. Hey, just go watch my video. Let me. So I'll go through it. Um. So I think the ideas I said in the video or like the problems I identified were that uh the shrines are way too short. They're not complex enough, and they don't get to explore a lot of ideas uh with uh, all the different mechanics and, and the systems that are in the game, and. One of the reasons that I think that happened is because they put so so many of them spread out all over the place and that the game is open world and you can hit them in in a, a non-linear order that it's not possible for them to build on concepts when um, when players can uh, like have multiple avenues of attack. Like we just like someone in chat just said they got to that shrine before getting the glider and you can't do it without the glider. They have to glitch their their way up. Um, so the way that this wor this game works is identical to Breath of the Wild in that we started off in um, the the sky Great Sky Island instead of the Great Plateau. Great Sky Island and got all of the the apps on the phone. I'm assuming that these two aren't really that um, big, but maybe I'm wrong. And now they have all the shrines built around using all of these. So one of the ideas was to make the shrines um, somewhat somewhat linear because the shrines have loading screens and take you to a separate area and they all use the same art, art assets that are divorced from the area that they're around in um you don't have to have every shrine the shrine that we went into in this location doesn't have to be that shrine that we just did that could be any shrine because it's there so if you, if you had that whenever the players discover a shrine they have a linear progression through them that it's always the same one you can have a, a built-in progression on ideas. Now, if you immediately don't like that because you want to have different different varieties of different shrines, then that's fine. We can tweak it and we can have like multiple tiers of shrines that we can go through that can still build on ideas, but you're going to have like a remix scrambled version of like, I don't know, 20 shrines in the first tier, and after that you go on to the second tier, so there's this building of ideas um, that you can see. Um, and on top of that, you know, like make them a bit bigger, a bit more complex, and have bigger ones that can actually dig into a concept instead of just having it like, hey, we're just going to introduce this to you and then and then have you use it once or twice and then the shrine is over um basically the shrines need to be as big as a mario level um and nintendo is really really good at it um arguably they fucking invented it this concept of um 
or a level being, hey, here's an idea, we introduce you to the idea, and then we reinforce the learning of the idea in a natural way, and then we test you on, on your um, understanding of that, uh, of that idea in multiple ways uh, throughout the whole entire level until you get to the end. That's what they're really, 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 really good at. And Breath of the Wild just doesn't fucking do that, and neither does uh, Tears of the Kingdom so far. And I think that's a really miss, a lost cause and a missed opportunity that they, they could have done way better. And I was hoping that they would do it better in Tears of the Kingdom, and uh, again, it's really early days, maybe they do later but so far they have not the shrines have been worse so far as far as i'm concerned and that they don't have to worry about distributing the devs ideas in the overworld they can go wherever and so can the players too yeah exactly now i wouldn't be i wouldn't be saying that oh golden apple i wouldn't be saying that if the shrines were like like um organically built into the world and some of them some challenges are like that so obviously they can't do it there but the shrine system that they chose has a separate loading area you go through what is effectively a teleport into a whole like uh instance location that has the same kind of kind of art style like it's really easy for them to do that and then you also avoid the problem of like do you know how many like basic ass shrines I found at the end of my playthrough in Breath of the Wild that were just like, hey, it's the it's the tutorial combat shrine. All right, cool. Thank you so much. All right, didn't we have this uh, uh, troll on a bridge before, or Hinox on a bridge before? Hold on, let's sneak up to him. But saying anything bad about these games is blasphemy, and uh, we'll get you burned to stake for even mentioning criticisms. Yeah, exactly. And here we are now with with people being so like fanatical about about these games that. We now have, like, what I think is probably still a, a great game. Don't get me wrong. Absolutely a great game. Like, I don't think this is going to be bad by any stretch of imagination. But could have been a, a much, 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 much better game uh, in some areas. And we don't have that now because criticism was so stifled and people just, like, were saying, like, no, there's no problems. And they'll, like, go down with the ship on this too and say, no, 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 I prefer it this way. It's perfect this way. No, 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 I don't want to hear it. And I just, that just blows my mind, man. Okay, listen, maybe you think I'm straw manning, okay? But let me let me put this into perspective to you, chat. All right, there are people that blindly defend this game and the previous game with the following phrase saying that, no, 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 Nintendo, people that don't like this game or want Zelda to, to go back to the old formula don't realize that this is Nintendo returning to its roots and and like Zelda returning to its roots and this and, and, and this is like the core fundamentals of Zelda because these motherfuckers haven't even played the first Zelda or the second Zelda they haven't played them they're just buying the bullshit that's been parroted around about the, about this game the first Zelda had dungeons the second Zelda had dungeons Zelda 1 and 2 had uh, dungeons that, that progressed with a new item that unlocked different options and shit and a new way to get around like this this is like there's no fundamentals being returned to motherfucker like want to use the zonite club or the big i think we should use the the gnarled thick stick wait hold on Oh, so this was only 52 attack power or whatever because we had one heart left. So that was the increased um, strength that was coming in. It was built into the uh, to the attack power on the menu. Okay, cool. All right, that's good. Minish Cap was cool. I haven't played that one. I would like to play that one. Can I hit this guy in his head when he's down? I remember some doing something like that. Fuck. Nope, not like that. I like this boss team, it's nice. I liked it in the last game too. I don't know if I'm hitting his head or not. No, I don't think so. Okay. 
Oh, maybe I am. Hey. 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 No, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Man, this guy's tanky. I think the shallow combat mechanics make the enemy variety redundant since they can all be cheesed by Flurry Rush. Yeah, I'm tempted to just not use Flurry Rush for, for the run, but the like, shit's kind of health spongy, so I don't know. The combat's making me a little miserable, I'm not going to lie. The cube boss was fun. We could have skipped that too, I think. I don't think you needed to do that one. <clears throat> do i think we want a fast weapon for this guy don't we we don't have a fast weapon apart from this but it's gonna break really fast we're gonna use the stone axe no. man deserved hey is there a shrine in this cave hey farquad these bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves eh what's a bubble frog whoa don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Who are you talking to then, bud? Uh, are you by chance looking for bubble frogs too? That's right. Aha, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly there are creatures called bubble frogs that can live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to the walls. All that stuff. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden. A curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs dropped. They're asking me to do the collecting. So, did they ask you too? Uh... They offer treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful, awful appealing, though. All right. So Elden. Where's Elden? Wasn't Elden one of the regions? Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Elden Northeast. All okay. right. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, can I have just hit it? Hit it with a... Uh, with my weapon instead of the, the arrow? Oh, fucking hell. What am I doing? With my life. How many times do you think that stream? Uh, honestly, not that often. I think I have a really cool job, so. So how do you like Ascend so far? Um, I like it, but I, I don't I don't love it. I like that they gave something to you that you can get out of caves and stuff instead of having to put like Bethesda teleports everywhere at the end of the cave. Not that there's anything really wrong with that either, by the way, like that's fine. Um, can I get that? What's that, is that a lizard? Oh. Okay, where'd it go? Did I pick it up? I'm curious to see how it's going to be used in the, uh... What the fuck is that? Used in some of the shrines. My guess is going to be not very. Horriblin horn. Hmm. Huh, I don't think I can get to that. Climbing gear. The ancient technology in this gear will make you a better climber. The special no-slip glove helps you use your energy more efficiently to facilitate nimble climbing. Alright, pretty good. Nice get. How are you liking the, the late night streams? They have kind of a more chill vibe to them, but I don't know if that's because I'm, I'm, I'm uncomfortable because I'm not used to streaming like this and I know everyone else is asleep in the house, so I'm trying to be a little bit more um, subdued or maybe it's the game. I don't know, but I, I'm, I'm liking it. It's kind of chill. There's fewer people here too, so chat's moving a little slower, so we can kind of like we can talk a little bit more, a little talk a little bit more frankly. It's like we're returning to our roots, but there's still quite a few people here, so it's also nice. 
Maybe I'll do this more often whenever I'll, whenever I'm on a night schedule because it seems like there's a uh, there's an audience for it. I'm surprised though how many people are here that are usually here at the normal time too. Different time zones or or just like happen to be on the same time zone right now or same time uh, schedule. Got there eventually. Bubble jam. Okay, I think we're done in here. Your normal streams are when I'm waking up, and right now is when I'm going to bed. Oh, it works out then. If I streamed both, it would be like a it would be like a sandwich for your day. So the different way in. Neat. Okay. So let's keep going. Oh, another shrine. Nice. That looks nice. Alright, I know. If we walk this whole line, we'll get a Korok. Watch it, chat. Watch. Watch. This is worth an hour. I'm telling you. If we walk this whole line, we're gonna get a Korok. Oh shit! Left to right! Left to right. Right, 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 right. Do 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 Alright, we made it. Korok, please. What a surprise. It is to see you here after all this time, Link. Hey, Impa. Why are you here? I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back, and in one piece, more or less. And Princess Zelda, where is she? What? She is still yet to return. In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Imi pictures? Images that sprawled across uh, fields and hills. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Kato and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining, examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted, though I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in, a, in the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I have racked my brain for ways to attach, reattach the two parts, but to no avail. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I have my, uh, my, my hand glue. Hold on. Hand glue. Alright, is that it? Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at the geograph, Lin? Nope. Alright then. <laughs> Later, weeb. Okay, fuck, I'll do it. Time to head out then. I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Is it lighting it? Light the fire, a fire there, and the balloon will start to float. Then we will be on our way. All right, for no reason, let's save it. For no reason, let's save it. All right, let's light it. All right, away we go. What is going on? I feel faint. Starting over. Try moving it straight upward without going in any other directions. Uh, okay. All right, you're not coming. Excuse me? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Hey, come back. You forgot me. N yo, I didn't forget you. You forgot to get on. Okay, get on then. Get on then. Get. Hmm. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go. All right. Oh. Okay, how do I stop the wind? Load the safe. No kidding, huh? Um. Oh. Too high up, I feel faint. Hmm. But finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature. A passage about what the ancients call dragon's tears. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. Ah. I believe this geoglyph is one such image, but even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be, but you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, even the, the geoglyph, near the geoglyph or even within its borders. 
Would you look around? This could be the clue. We need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. If you would like to examine the geoglyph from ground level, you can float down to it with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Can you, though? Can you? Can you really? Okay, I don't understand what we're supposed to be doing. Like, on any level, actually. Okay, can I take a picture of it? Alright, image taken. Alright, so are we supposed to follow the hand? Is it the circle thing? Alright, it looks like... Dragon's Tear... Is it meant to be a dragon? I see multiple, like, teardrops on it. What's that thing next to it? What was that? It's kind of hard to see. There's a... Okay, well, there's that down there. Alright, let's go there first. Oh, it, it was just a Korok puzzle. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. You got me, game. Damn, all this for a Korok seed. Damn. All right, thanks. What an epic prank by Nintendo. Damn. Holy shit. All right, what's over here? Would you recruit more not more mods for the uh, night streams? If we need them, yeah. But so far, it seems fine. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all th things horse-related. We also double as an inn, and also a smoke shop. Hmm, it seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses Stable Association's membership system. You'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Ah. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about your, the stable system? Tell me. Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please for our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but if you'll, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Ah. Once again, welcome to our stable. You, if you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. Uh, now, can I help you? No, I'm good. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points pony points work. Oh, phew! Holy shit! Explain pony points. That's right. It's a reward system you can use as stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Without further ado, since this is your first time visiting new serene stables, you get a pony point. Oh, we got a pony point! Pony point. Pony point. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Oh man, I love getting pony points. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, uh, member rules, and other information. Aren't we in the apocalypse? Oh. Come back again. Aren't the, we're in the post post apocalypse. We're in the second apocalypse. The pony. Po I want. I want a reward. What's the reward? Hey. Ah. ah. Yes. I'll be right with you. Welcome, sir. Who are you? You like to get your pony points reward, right? Get more points. If you save up just two more points, Aww. you'll receive a towing harness. Whoa! Very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. Oh, that actually sounds fucking sweet. Oh, man, I'm going to lodge right now. Oh, hey, how's it going? Hey. hey there, are you a fellow traveler on a journey of life? It's me, Beetle. If you forget, my beetle-shaped pack is right th wow. there to remind you. In this, it's fucking blippy. If the, in this topsy turvy world, there's only one direction to go forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else in your life journey, I can sell you that too. Sure, on rupees, don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down. And what better way to lighten up than to sell your rocks, gemstones in particular, and fetch you a high price? Well, well, what'll it be? All right, look what I got. All right, let's let's sort. Woohoo! Let's sort by price to see what he wants to buy the most. Here we go. Sort by fuse attack power, sort by most used, sort by type, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Wow, thank you, Nintendo. How fucking cool. What have you got? All right, arrow. Arrow times five. Fire fruit. Tireless frog. Woohoo! Woohoo! the moon. Woohoo! Work in progress. Do not touch the proprietor. See you later, La Roche Monte. Deja vu. All right, I'd like to sleep. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? I do. A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A Malayan bed will be 50 ru rupees. What's a Malayan bed? It's when you lay in bed. <laughs> you sleep in a Malayan bed. Not only will you wake up more energized, Malena, Malena, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. This makes it a very popular choice among our lodgers. We don't offer such a luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Malayan beds. Well, shit then. A regular bed will cost. Oh, fuck you. Fuck no, no. Fuck you. I'm not sleeping here until I have enough pony points to sleep in the nice bed. I'm not gonna sleep in 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 the sh in the shitty fucking peasant bed. No fucking way. Hey, let me steal a horse and go get a pony point. All 
All right, time for some more banger content. Here we go. An uplifting device. Well, what's that green up there? I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, all right, what am I supposed to be doing? Is there a button somewhere? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Whoa, a third puzzle. Oh, oh feeling spicy with this one, huh, Nintendo? Oh, shit. All right, does, does, it, does it have to stay there? No, it doesn't. Okay. Whoa, this one got the big boy budget. This one got a designer to make it instead of, you know, bring your kid to, uh, to work day. I haven't even done the room yet, and I know this is one of the best shrines. Please don't tell me he's going to shake the joystick instead of the controller for the whole game because he disabled the gyros. Wow, did the streamer just do that? Wow, let epic facepalm. Wow. Hey, Reddit. I just took a break from playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I, you know, I'm already on my second playthrough. I've been hitting it pretty hard. Even though I love Nintendo, you know, I played the Link like we all, the leak like we all did. But now I'm playing it again on the Switch console to see what it's like. Anyway, I was taking a break and I was just checking out the, the streamer Joseph Anderson. You know, that asshole that made that uh, video on the first game. What a shitty video. And do you know he's playing with the, the Joy-Con uh, thing turned off? And instead he has to like, shake the stick every single time he's, he uses altered hand? What a scrub. Can't wait to see what video he makes on Tears of the Kingdom next. Haha, <laughs> not. Why is Joe so pissy? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm coming across as pissy. I'm having fun. Sorry. Okay, we can totally do this. Not my intention to come across as pissy. Ooh, we can. Nice. You're exaggerating. Of course I'm exaggerating. Oh, I mean, there are people who do that. The person who just said that in chat probably isn't one of them. They just probably don't like that I'm shaking the stick. But there are people who do that. Absolutely. Does everyone in your head sound like someone from a Life is Strange game? Oh shit. <laughs> you know what? What if we combine them together like this? And then... We save a trip. Ah.
fucking ri Why? What's wrong with this balloon? Oh, okay. What? What? What the hell? Oh shit! No! 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 Well, this is a waste of time. Sorry. All right, what are we doing? Holy shit. <laughs> All right, let's just put a bomb in here and we'll be done. Oh, is that why they took the bombs away? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Alright, we can fuse. Wait, what? Oh, oh okay, okay. Alright. Oh, it came back. Oh, that's good. Alright, cool. Thank you. What are the flamethrower things for then? Because I don't think those work with the uh, with the balloon balloons, do they? Do they make the balloons a lot stronger? Wouldn't it burn the balloons? All right, we got the baseball up here. Where is the? Uh, other one. Did it float all the way to the top? I guess it did. I am sorry if I'm being pissy though. You, you, uh, this isn't an excuse, but it is an explanation, but it definitely is an excuse. I shouldn't be pissy. You don't understand how much shit I got for the Breath of the Wild video, okay? Like, there are still people just like permanently fucking butt blasted about that, all right? The fact that I even use the term butt blasted instead of saying something, you know, more, you know, friendly it should speak volumes, all right? Just like fucking hell. All right. Oh, that was, oh, I thought I needed both of them. The Reddit thread on that video was a bloodbath. The Odyssey one was worse. The Odyssey one was funny though for for some people that had actually watched the video going through the comments and they're like he already addressed this in the video you didn't watch it he already addressed this in the video you didn't watch it he didn't he already addressed this in the video didn't watch it and then the Reddit keyboard warriors after that going like just because he addressed it in the video doesn't mean that it, that that the criticism could be just easily dismissed he'd be like yeah but you have to like acknowledge what he addressed and counter that instead of you know just. <laughs> countering the first point then like like yeah of course that that follows but you're still not doing it right but yeah fucking reddit this is a different room isn't it this seems more of a fancy room what about subnaka video i don't remember how the subnaka video was received you mean your reddit you mean like my reddit comments i don't fucking do that shit there's been a couple times where i posted on my own account if someone's like asked a question or something but that's it very very early on i would um i would reply to some people but fucking not anymore not for years now holy shit not worth it not fucking worth it
One time I responded to someone on a different subreddit and they like fucking just spoiled like Deltarune for me. That was fucking annoying. <sighs> they didn't mean to. I don't think they did. But just like kind of kind of thoughtless, I guess. It wasn't a big spoiler though. It was the existence of like a, a secret boss or something, I think. I can't even remember what it is now. Maybe we already saw it in the first game, in the first part. Okay, so all joking aside, this wasn't just a Korok seed, right? Oh, we get a horse. Let's get a horse. I'd like a horse. Remember when you had to respond to the Steins Gate in real life microwave argument? Yeah, I know. Like, I try to be charitable with people when, when I have a discussion with them. And sometimes I fail. I'm not, I'm not perfect at this by any stretch of the imagination. But, like, if your mind is going to the point that you legitimately think that this game... That I'm saying, this p piece of media sucks because my microwave in my kitchen can't function as a microwave, therefore it's shit. Then how, how are you, like, not thinking for a second surely that can't be what he's saying <laughs> it's like, like what the fuck are you like what do you do you think i am like what like who would say that shit <laughs> all right this horse only has two things so we probably don't want to keep this horse right it also has a weirdly speckled butt <laughs> Pony points? Yeah, let's go take some pony points. Do you need something? Ask for stable worker. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, fine. No, come back. Okay, do we I can't remember what we do. Do we do we talk to the guy? Alright, I feel like the horse is fighting me. Does this get better the more you soothe it? Or I can't remember. Can we loot while on horseback? Wow. Elden Ring keeps on winning. Elden Ring keeps on winning. Oh, customer already. Early bird, huh? I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you like to use the stable, you can go up to the counter. What are you up to? Ah, well, you asked. Well, since you asked. After all, entire the search, I found a wagon to call my own. Look at this butte. Okay, yes, it's clearly a fixer-upper, but I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. And then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to, and I'll be set. Building materials. There's a stash of uh, unused building materials at every stable. No two stashes will have the exact same materials, but they do have one thing in common. They're open to everyone to use. No questions asked. Wild horse. You catch a wild horse, you can make it your own. There are lots of them around here. As a matter of fact, it's hard to catch them, though. You have to crouch down and sneak up on them, or they'll run away. Even if you do catch one, you have to suit the horse, or you'll get thrown off. I always mess that part up. Fine, don't offer help. Ye yeesh. Do I look like I can fix a, uh, a horse-drawn wagon on my own? As long as I pay you back, I give you all my savings, in fact. Oh, okay, that sucks. Sorry. See you later. That can't be economically viable. Yeah, but consider how much shit we just leave around when we play Factorio. I think it, I think it tracks. Link, welcome to our sale. We catch wild horse being here. You can register it. Please visit the inside counter if you want to lodge with us. Okay, now how can I help you? Register the horse. Yep. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. All right. Gentle, bond, 59, strength, pull. All right, you know what? Not a bad horse. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but we got a special promotion going on right now, so you register your first horse for free. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one, one point to your pony points. Oh, yes, we got a oh, fuck yes. Well then, I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. But... Oh, shit. Too many. But... Yes. Oh. Name register. You want to take it with you or board it? I will take the horse. Ah. That concludes the registration process. By saving up your pony points, you can get exclusive perks. You can change your horse's gear, its saddle, and so forth, and restyle its mane. Mm. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get something from your horse, you can whistle it and they'll come running. Will it, though? Is or This horse is completely fine now. Your horse is a magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Ah. Come back again. Oh yeah, I remember that. This is just like the fucking worst horse system in any open world game with horses ever, isn't it? They didn't fix that either. They didn't make the, like, why can't the horse be magic? Just let me have the horse. Even Roach will just come whenever. Fucking hell. Hmm? Ah, Link. I've heard you and Princess Zelda gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well, but where's Princess Zelda? Huh? 
I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say. Since that is the case, Link, then perhaps our geoglyph research will be of some use to you. Alright, thank you. Cool. Okay, so this one we can't recall. I am enjoying the game overall, though, chat. I'm having a pretty good time. Huh. Do we have to, like, break the rock? It, this couldn't have just been for a Korok suit. There's no way. But is it better than Elden Ring? Uh, so far, I would say no. I think it's fair to compare the two of them, though. They are different in many ways, but they are still big, you know, action, combat, open world games. You know, like... They both have dungeons, right? All right, the rock. Okay, the rock does nothing. Let's put the rock in the middle. Wah ha Why do I still have this? God damn it. Oh shit, I'm so fu- Oh, so I fuck- I, I legitimately didn't think that you took damage. I'm sorry. Holy shit, I'm sorry, horse. We touched the butt. Man, shit's getting worse over there, huh? Oh, fuck a duck. I thought I was at your back. Oh, okay, alright. Never mind. He's that you called it, man. You called it. Any Star Rail updates? I love the auto battle system. I've gotten through, I don't know how many of the Star Hall mirror places with just auto battling. I've beaten all of the bosses with auto battling for the for the three weekly resets. I just let the game play itself at this point. I queue up six waves uh, on the thing and just, and just, um, just let it do it while I walk away. It's great. Oh, no, that didn't work how I thought I was going to. Okay. Um, yeah, let's start a fire. and get thrown off. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, for fuck! I thought you were moving. I didn't think you were attacking. Did its AI like, like, like be like, oh, he's running toward us. Get ready. That was kind of cool. Holy shit, that was slick. Does Joe not like the gyro aiming? I hate anything to do with motion controls except for the VR index. Hate, hate, hate motion controls. Hate, 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 hate. Cannot say it enough how much I hate motion controls. Is this a boomer take at this point? Like, like really? The, like, people like motion controls? What about the Wii? Hate it. He hates it. Yeah. 
Alright, do you shake? Do you shake? Alright, it's only after I hit him once. Oh! Oh, it doesn't matter! Oh, okay. Aha, what now? What the fuck was that? If only I had been gyro aiming, it would have been fine. What the fuck was that? Greed, yeah, pretty greedy. Bitch, I show up and you say you hate the Wii. Give me a good reason not to cancel you on Twitter, motherfucker. Hey, I like the Wii. I just don't like the motion controls. I like buttons. Oh my god, what the fuck? Yeah, this, th th this is going well. This is good, yeah. This is going so well. Oh yeah, it's a rock. Okay. Okay, am I just supposed to shoot with bombs? rewinding you can ah oh, fucking yeah you can ascend why do I keep forgetting about ascend fuck me dead holy shit The rare, like, glad chat was here moment, because fuck, I keep forgetting about that. Okay, calm down, game. It didn't like that, did it? Girl? Stone Talus Heart. What do you want to fuse with this? The rusty halberd? Ooh, the claymore. Looks fucking stupid. It looks so dumb. Lysel Reaper. Tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Okay, I will. Okay, so what is the mystery of this thing? It feels like we're supposed to be able to see something. Is it a quest? You hitched a ride on the doubloon and saw the whole geoglyph from the air. According to Impa, hidden somewhere in the geoglyph is something called a dragon's tear. Searching the most likely spot. Search the most likely spot to find it. All right. So if we go to uh, our album, we took a picture. All right, so where is this dragon's tear? Would it be crying on its on its like on its face? This is the dragon. Is it the, the one that has a little like black mark on its face? There's lots of tear shapes on it. Probably. I'm guessing that's that's it. It's it's the one that has the weird kind of thing on it. 
All right, so where are we? Oh. oh okay, well, that was easy. All right. Wahaha! -ha! Bohoho, it's me, a Mega Korok. With these seeds, you get to increase your other equipment thing. Oh, wah, 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 wah. There are a hundred of us. Let's see if you can find us all, Link. Alright, what the fuck is this? Oh, this is story! Oh, holy shit! Oh, it's story. Holy shit. Fuck. Thank you, Strav, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome, Strav. Thank you so much. And thank you, Mr. Du Bois, for gifting out a sub. Thank you so much. What? Oh, dear. That's Zelda's great, 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 great grandmother for sure. Where am I? One thousand million percent. Oh, I mean to startle you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sorry. Yep. It's okay. My name is Sonia. Mm-hmm. And could we ask what your name is? I, I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule, after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? But you're a goat. Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonya? Well, that must mean... I'm half goat! Explains a lot, actually. Goats are annoying, and so are you. Okay, do we do we get a little gameplay treat for this? No, no, we don't. Okay. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? It's just literally Breath of the Wild again. Why are you always oh. wet? Goodness, you say you had a vision, saw mysterious figures, and then Princess Zelda. Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to, to the literature, there is something to, to do with geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of the canyon in Hebra. So I think we should make our way there soon. Oh, it's not Herba. It's, he, it's, it's Hebra. Damn. All right. You know what we should do? We should go, we should go, do, the, we should go do the tower, right? Oh, it's already linked. All right. <gasps> A blue rupee thing. Does it work with backflipping too? No. Try again on flat ground. Broccoli man, broccoli man, broccoli man hates triangle man. Those trees over there. So scary. Shalaka.
Shala Kala. The scary things are gone. You see me? You see me. My name is Hestu. Yeah, we know. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my mar maracas and my dancing. Thanks for your help, Shashaka. Did you get amnesia? To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance for you and make your pouch bigger. But my maracas aren't working anymore. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to do a dance now? The children of the forest must have taken them again. If I even had one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. Uh, is this a different guy, or what? Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas, but the seeds spilled all over the place when I broke my maracas. I think my the children of the forest took the seeds while I was all in a panic. Sniff, hang on, sniff, sniff. You have a Korok seed. You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Yes, please. Shilaka, so which stash do you want more slots in? Uh, weapon stash for sure. I just need one Korok seed. Okay, here you go. I hate fun. Yay! Expand the band band weapon stash, Shikala. So, so, are you happy with it? If you bring me, bring me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory again. Alright, how many do you need this time? I think we're going to get one more uh, bow one and the rest weapons. Heading east next. There's so many monsters these days that traveling is dangerous. What I'd like to do is find somewhere I can relax. I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere where lots, where, go somewhere where lots of people hang out. Since so, wait a sec, you still have more Korok seeds, I can smell them. Here, I'll... I'll be here a little longer. You want me to make your pouch even bigger? Yeah, bow stash. Bow stash, yeah, sure, okay. Just need one Korok seed. Deal. Oh, man. It's one each for each one? All right, we'll get a shield one, too, if it's just one. Da -da -da -da. Expand a band bow stash, Shikala. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get a move. I'll be heading east soon, so I go to a favorite place and relax. A son of Korok seed, so go out there and find more for me, okay? All right, next time we meet, let's dance together. What? 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 I have more seeds. No wonder he's a tree, he just fucking leaves. What the fuck, dude? You thought you were eating good, huh? I really did, yeah. Alright, let's go save the guy before we get to the uh before we get to the um the tower. Such a good splash. He did this in the base game. I mean, the previous one. Ooh, did he really? I don't remember that. I mean, why am I surprised? It's just, you know, the same thing again. Oh, boy. It's a shrine. My favorite. All right. What's this? All right, we're grabbed by the hands. And, and, and that's it, just GG. Just, just GG grabbed by the hands, okay. Okay, so let's get ready for some shooting. Okay, let's uh, save it so I don't have to pick up all those mushrooms again. Cause I feel I'm gonna die again. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. They're not taking much damage, but I don't want to do this every single time I, I, I shoot something. 
Do I have to? That seems like so wasteful. Let's try a bomb. Eh, bomb worked. Honestly, might as well just use another bomb. Can I uh, hit them when they come close? Oh, for fuck's sake. What? Excuse me? Okay, let's just fucking pelt bombs at them, alright. That's so weird. Alright, um, I feel like I'm not using the bow properly. How did that miss? <sighs> yep. Miss one, that's it. Fucking hell. Alright. Terrible, Joe. Terrible. You can do better than that. Come on. Back in. Let's go. So weird, it's almost like the game doesn't want you to fight that. If that's the intention, they fucking really... Fr okay, I just missed. They really dropped the ball there. This this seems like something you're supposed to fight, for sure. They have glowing weak spot eyes. Don't miss the first one. Maybe I should shoot the first, the, the, uh, don't miss the first shot. Maybe I should shoot the one that's closest. Because the one in the back seems to move a little erratically. Uh, definitely want to use this one, though. I mean, the Guardians also have weak, giant, us uh, glowing spot eyes. Yeah, and I, I kill them, too. Fuck, I'm terrible. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm sorry. Shoot the ground, maybe? I'd rather hit them in the eyes. Although the, the explosion um, isn't hitting their eyes. Uh, but I think if you hit one in the eye, maybe the, ex the weak spot kind of spreads? Probably won't. There we go. Phantom Ganon. Oh, it is Ganon. Is it really Ganon? get close to him because he does the red shit. I wonder if I can flurry rush him after that and then run away. I'm a little disappointed that it's Ganon. Okay, so maybe I'm shooting a little too late there. Yeah, miss, miss the first shot that said I'm done. They kind of suck, huh? They come at you really fast, and if that's and if that happens, then you're fucked. You have to be stunning them constantly. Hmm. 
wonder if it's worth it to shoot one with a normal arrow first to line up the shot. Yeah, hitting them in the weak spot doesn't doesn't count for shit. All right, let's eat something. All right, what weapon do we want to use? Probably the stone talus hammer. All right, he runs at us, and then we just like sidestep and dodge to get a flurry rush. No. Okay, so over his head is straight down. And the other way is sideways. So straight down we dodge to the to the other side. Alright. Lost our last heart. Alright, little later on the dodge. Little later on the dodge. How is that not a flurry rush? What the fuck? Little later. After he stops, maybe? When he actually gets to me? What the fuck? If he does the overhand, I wonder if I can just strafe right and he won't hit me. No, he will. He absolutely will. That's it. Alright, so you can't just stray from that attack. We're gonna break all our bows, man. Alright, let's try and keep our health up so we have a... The, the buffer. What the fuck? I dodged! What the? How the fuck was that not a flurry rush? You heard the jump fucking uh, sounds. That was bullshit. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Okay, this is completely busted. There's no way that was a flurry rush for the one before it wasn't when you broke my shield. What the fuck? I hit dodge there too. 
Jory talked about that in your Breath of the Wild video. I should watch it. Sounds like a good video. So it's even more broken than it was before. Okay. Is it because you're broken? Oh, is it? Oh, maybe that's why. My bad. Sorry. I'll take it back. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking Jedi Survivor fucking control. Okay. Still my fault. Gloom Sword. This slender sword has an ominous presence. It is said to end the life of anyone it touches. Its gloom will gradually wear down the body of its wielder. Dark Clump, an unusual substance. It's cold to the touch, and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Demon King's Bow, a magical bow, pro eight attack power, pro prized by the Demon King. Its performance reflects the power of its wielder. The higher your maximum number of hearts, the more its attack power increases. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's a fun way of doing it. One second, chat. All right, sorry about that. In Evolve, how to get a good amount of ally and polymer early on. Just trade. Factories seem not to cut it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you buy them. Uh, I've done a couple Bioseed runs, and I still buy the vast majority of my alloy and polymer until um, the very, very end of the... Uh, toward the end of the Bioseed run is when I start making a lot of my own ally. And even then, is that's around the time that you have to switch over to making something else instead, so you still just buy it all. Um very early on into early space you will um you won't have to sell anything to have net positive income anymore and uh you'll just be able to all your trade routes will just be buying stuff but um you shouldn't really need that much polymer at all right now you should be uh resetting for plasmids with uh, mutual assured destruction so i'm not sure what you're going for maybe you're going for a challenge thing so that fight kind of sucked but i'm guessing it's supposed to be just a simple thing that you have to do all right so this seems really bad so does it wear you down as you hit with it? What if I fuse something with this, but I use that as the base and this is the addition? Would I gain the would I gain the attack power without needing without the the drawback? Hmm. All right. Well, this is gonna take an inventory slot for me forever now. Joe, can you bust down? You know, like really shake it. Hell, no, hell yeah, man. You know me. That was just Flint. Okay, cool. It was a Flintstone. The League awards you a pink poncho. Thank you, League. I'll take it. I can't dance to save my life. If Jigsaw put me in a room and said, you have to dance or else you're going to die, I would just say, can you just give me the gun right now? Like, I, I just I just know I can't do it. So I'm embarrassed. I just can't do it. Ooh. Jigsaw, please. I really want to see it. All right, you know what? I'll do it then. Ooh, new uh, new background. Okay, what's this? Oh. 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 Okay. All right. So it's a shrine for beating the boss outside, or so you were supposed to fight it. How long you plan to stream? Probably another hour, and that's it. Lily has to go out in the morning, um, so there's like a hard end cap to the stream. I'm not sure when it is. Lily will let me know, but it's probably going to be at about an hour. Surely this is the last stream. Oh, this game, it's it's probably the last stream of this game, yeah. I don't think we're going to stream anymore. Oh, it saves your little extra energy until you've expended the rest of your energy first. Oh, that's neat. That's a nice addition. Cool. Oh, it's a, one of the Pan's Labyrinth frogs over there. Hold on, let's go get it. Did I not like the game? Oh, no, I'm going to keep playing it. I'm just not going to keep streaming it. Fuck you guys. No, uh, I don't know if like if enough of you want to watch me play this. And also, when I play a game like this on my own time, like I will like like play it for a long time like in one session. Then I'll like go away, and then I'll come back, and I'll play it for 30 minutes, and then I'll go away for like 7 hours, and then I'll come back, and then I'll play it for like 6 hours. Like, like I don't, like, it's not going to be like good for streaming, you know? Like, that's what I mean. All right, should we should we uh, fuse the gloom sword with a rock to go mining with it? 
Joe, we clearly want to watch it. Yeah, but would enough people want to watch something else? Stinky lizard. All right. Also, I shouldn't be like doing another streaming right now. I need to. I need to fix all of my uh, my backlog of rendering, which eh, is almost done for this computer actually. So maybe that's not really that big of an issue. That's an axe shot. Yeah, but it has the stone modifier, which means you can mine with it better than anything else that doesn't have it. I swear. Maybe we should. Oh, it has charge attack and stamina up, so it seems like the the buffs continue with it. Okay, Lysol Reaper. What has this been uh, fused with? Fuse has already been used on this. Okay. Have you considered releasing The Witcher Three vid in separate parts owing to its long run times and, and constant delays? No, not really. I would not like to do that. I wouldn't like to watch it like that, so I wouldn't like to release it like that. Okay, is this all that's down there? Down here? Not that that wasn't uneventful, like, you know, uh, fighting Ganon like that. I'm really disappointed it's Ganon. What the fuck? I thought it was something else. How is Ganon... How did we kill him and he got more powerful? I don't care about streaming, Joe. I want a full-blown vid in the next 6-12 months, please. Slash half-joking. Streaming is not the reason why there aren't any videos, so, like, you can enjoy the streams guilt-free. I promise. I mean, apart from the baseline guilt you should have for watching a stream. Degenerate entertainment, says the streamer. Prediction result is zero. What was it? What was the prediction? What was it? Oh, I remember that area. That area sucks. Oh, look, another shrine. Great. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Anyone else rotate like I rotate with like, I know how to do it, but I forget every single time. And then I'm like, oh, I remember how to do it now halfway through. And then your brain just immediately just deletes that knowledge for the next time and says, la my over, you learn it. Like every single fucking time I'm like, oh yeah, I know how to do this. Why did that just happen? Joe use the motion the the motion controls. Lol said the streamer. Lamayo. No, it's lotion controls. Lotion controls. I'll use some lotion controls. All right, here we go. Does Joe have an OLED or regular switch? I have an OLED switch. It was fifty dollars more. I was like, you know what? I'll treat myself, and I'm happy with it because the screen is a little bigger and the Joy Cons stick to the sides a little better. Not that I'm ever gonna play it in handheld, but you know, I actually will quite a bit actually. Actually, actually. Oh, it's the poncho. How long before the kids break the OLED? I'm not letting them touch it. They have their own switches. They already broke one of mine. That's why I needed a new one. <sighs> Surface map updated. All right, can we get to a... Uh, can we get to that floating island to the southwest? Ooh, there's just a cube. What's the cube? What's the blue? Oh, we can't get there. All right, cool. <gasps> I wonder what skydiving through a cloud feels like. Wet? Or is it so fast that it's just like it's over? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, damn! Oh, 
calculated. Whew. Holy shit! That was close. Do your kids ask you for help when they come across a hard enemy or puzzle? Yes, and I always tell them no. They're actually trying to play Breath of the Wild right now. Well, Leo's trying to play Breath of the Wild, and Finn is trying to play Link's Awakening, the, the Switch version. Alright, let's keep going. Wish there was a faster way to get up here. Does he like Link's Awakening? Uh, he does, but he thinks it's weird that there's, that there's Mario enemies in the game. He's stuck on the second dungeon, I think. He said that he needs to find something that lifts heavy rocks, and he doesn't know where it is. And I don't remember Link's Awakening. I've played it, but I don't remember it, so I'm like, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, so it was a bit- it wasn't, actually. I forgot about Ascension, and now I am passing it off as a bit. Honest streamer? I'm not a dumbass if it was a bit. Would there be insects at this altitude? Uh, what? Is this it? Okay, can we get much higher? Was anyone else expecting more islands in the sky? Like, look at the sky right now. We can see, like, a lot of them, right? It's pretty sparse. Maybe that's bigger than it looks like from here, but... Actually, that looks just like the... Looks like the... The temple from the first game. Oh, what's that? Let's go to that one. That looks like fun. Alright, how far away is that? Oh, it's really close. I, I, okay, I was being a shitter, actually. Is that is that one? That's not, like, the moon coming out early? Like... Man, last week... Um... I don't... I've never seen this happen in my whole entire life. It probably has happened. I just didn't... I just wasn't paying attention. There was, like, this... This... Layer of cloud... In the sky at night. And the cloud was, like... Like, an actual just straight fucking line. Like, a sheer straight line in the sky. I've never seen a cloud formation like this in the sky. And this wouldn't be interesting on its own. Well, it'd be a little interesting. But the moon was right below it in the sky. And because the cloud was a straight line and the moon was there, the cloud was like a perfect reference point for, for the moon moving through the sky. So you could, like, I could look at it and I could see the moon moving through the sky in real time. And you could act, because normally with that reference point, you can't really tell if it's moving or not. Moon moves pretty fucking fast through the sky. I was surprised. It was really cool. That's my whole story. There's no joke. All right, what am I supposed to do here? Do I go down instead? Is there something down at the bottom? <laughs> Joe Survivor would get up to there. I don't have a Jerry. Oh man, tomorrow we're playing more of that, huh? I'm so excited. I think we're gonna finish it tomorrow. Okay, this. What, what is this for? Can you imagine the person who like doesn't make it to the top on the fall and they and they're down here and they climb like painstakingly all the way up here with ascension and, and climbing and get to the top and there's fucking nothing there? To be honest, it reminds me of Sonic Frontiers. Me too, haven't even played the game, but I agree. From the trailers. Okay, cool, thank you. Alright, I have no fucking idea what's going on here. Welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by diving headlong through the sky. No, no challenges to visit this. Are, are, oh, oh, no. Do I really have to do what I think I have to do? Do I have to go right back to the top and skydive from as high as I possibly can through all the rings? Or like... 
No challenges to visit this island in a long time. I'm glad you have come. You're welcome to show your courage. Do you want to start the dive ceremony right away? Let's do it. Could it be that you do not know the dive ceremony? My apologies. Allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial to test your courage. It is the right by which is on. It comes to you through the age of starting position in the Sky Island. Far above fear. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. I wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit the mark adulthood. Go on. Show me your courage. All right. You'll teleport me up there though, right? Understood. Safety protocols require a practice run of the course first. The practice run has no time limit. Simply focus on going through all the rings. I will guide you the starting point confirm your authorization at the terminal and then begin okay thank you all right all right phew all right do 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 all right we got up here yay we did it oh shit no 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 use the send use the use the oh fucking hell All right, did it. Practice run over. Let's just do the real thing now. Okay, anything else up here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Do 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 Gee, I wonder if there's going to be a shrine in here. Or is it just going to be a room with a chest? Man, a shrine! Oh? Oh! Oh! This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You have entered here. Heed my instruction. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow and release. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. We missed. Well done. Heighten your senses again, take aim, and defeat the enemies. Shit, now what? I don't have any arrow I don't have any arrows game. I don't have any arrow. We Can I take your arrows? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to be here for a while.
Okay. Strong construct bow. All right, let's replace it with the Baka blow. Man. Do you think if a movie came out and it was and it was three hours long, and two hours of the movie was just like the best movie ever, but one hour of the movie was just kind of shit? Do you think it would still get like ten out of ten for most critics? So Lord of the Rings was Lord of the Rings shit for any part of it? I mean, the part of Lord of the Rings that was shit was the part that was shit in the books, too. I guess that still counts. Dazzle Fruit. It had slow parts. Well, slow doesn't mean shit. I like slow parts in media, too. That's why all my videos are so slow. Slow at making them, too. Alright, what are we, we going to put in here? A uh, bunch of the... Uh, fuck, what are they called? I don't know which way. Is it the Zonai Charges? I'm pretty sure it's the Zonai Charges, right? Let's hold, and we put them all in. Hoddle. All right, here we go. Put him in. <laughs> Balloon. Time bomb. All right, with the balloons, clearly we can, we, we could, should be able to get anywhere, right? All right, I would like to do the challenge for real now. Quite the dive. I eagerly anticipate your performance in the full ceremony. Now, let's com commence with the dive ceremony. You prepared? I'm prepared. Ah, perhaps I forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai charge as an offering. Offering? Our custom, custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Zonai charge to the island. No Zonai charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Your cooperation would, would be appreciated. I just gave you five. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all the rings in 35 seconds or less. Can you sing the Danganronpa Casino theme for all-time sake? I don't remember the Danganronpa Casino theme. Time is 22.29. I have borne witness to your courage. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. Glide shirt. Skydive mobility up. Okay. These seem incredibly situational. You may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I will require an offering of one zone I charge. Nope. Yep. Alright. Okay, I don't think you can just hold dive the whole time, can you? Maybe now you can. Nope. Oh shit, did we get it? Did we get it? Oh uh, no! Fuck it. So close. So close. My hubris! Oh, I can just, like, stop diving. Okay. Alright, there we go. Your time is 1893. This is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award you, uh, this... Sorry, I award this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. Large zone I charge. Oh, please tell me your name. I'll register you, register you as a record holder. Okay, thank you. This was not worth it. Understood, your name is Link. I've registered you as a record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony again? No, no. I write your next attempt. All right, cool, thank you. All right. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the, the Dragon's Tears. No, we're not. We're uh, we're going to uh, regional phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. Uh, we're still going to this region. All right. So we're going over the the Tabantha frontier. Do we want the rubber armor or do we want the climbing gear on? I think we want the climbing gear on. 
Wait, what? Wait, it's worth three, okay. What's that red shit over there? That doesn't look like a, a hole. Maybe it is. How does streamer feel about a Breath of the Wild video watch along? I hate how I sound in that video, so I don't know if I could if I could do it. Maybe I could. Maybe be fine. There's a part in the video where I recorded it with like a stuffy nose, and I can't unhear it whenever I get to that part, and it just makes me want to have to clear my nose again right then and then when I'm watching the video. All right, so we need to get a ball here. let it go with momentum no Where's it going? All right, I think we can do it, chat, for sure. But what's the actual puzzle in here? Is it fun? All right, so get the ball to go down there, then get the ball to go down there, then make something to carry the ball to the other side. Oh, we did that already. Okay, let's just do it this way. All right, so we push it here, go up here. Maybe we should like rewind it from here. No, that's not a good idea. All right. Shit! It's <laughs> all right. Will it? Will it? Like rewinds? Like like me? Like moving the ball up and down? Like like this? Like woo, 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 woo. Oh, it does. Okay, so timing on this is actually kind of hard. I need to like have it like cancel it while it's down low, so I can uh, hit it with the uh, with the ultra hand right away. Then you can grab it out of rewind. I don't think you can. Can you? It's an easy test. Oh, you can. Can you really? Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's much easier then. Whoops. Oh, it's not low enough. Fuck. It's not low enough. Hmm. All right, what do we do then? We couldn't grab it from here, could we? I think that's way that's that's not. Oh, it's kind of hitting. Maybe you could get it from here. How are we going to get a long enough rewind down there to do it, though? Okay. 
Is that a little ledge over there? Can we climb on the ledge? No, I think I think that isn't that isn't higher, is it? Fuck it, we'll just do the regular way. Let it draw for a bit, then rewind it so you can grab it out of the real on slower. I don't think we have time to fly over though, but that should work, yeah. If we if we drop it No, can we drop it? I don't if we drop it, I don't think we can uh we can catch it again. Then we'll to to go up again. To pull it up. What if we just pushed it down? Can you imagine if that worked? Hold on, we just need to give it enough momentum. One second. What the hell is that? Doesn't like doing this, does it? Oh, it can't. It can't go on right. All right. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Go on right. Oh no, it won't do it. Holy shit. OCD strikes. It's not OCD. I think it's actually gonna matter. How are you gonna plan? How are you planning on getting it up there? I have no plan. It's that's that's a problem for your future, Joe. We're just doing shit right now. And we'll see how we can make it work. Really? I, I like. I mean, it has to line up, doesn't it? Or else it's gonna be bumpy on the way down, and the ball's not gonna get momentum. Whatever. Let's try it this way. Fuck it. I'm getting. I'm getting annoyed. All right. Shit. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. I legit just fell asleep watching the stream just now. And yet people want me to continue. Alright, alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, this this is this is this is the one. You know what I just realized? We need to remake it anyway. Cause it needs to be longer. Where are the other pieces? All right, can that work out now? Nope, still needs to be a bit longer. There we go, all right, last piece. Best shrine so far, none of them. All right, we're up. Construct bow. Wow, they, they didn't even make these good. Is a construct bow better than a than a traveler's bow? I guess so. Do you get more enjoyment from breaking Jedi Survivor where the breaks aren't intended than breaking Zelda shrines where they are intended? I think I get more enjoyment when they're not intended. Although this game can definitely have that kind of feeling too. I like the thrill of I don't know if I can do this. So when it when it's um when it finally does like break through, if I if I luck out or if I like you know, skill my way into something. You know, I don't like to say that because it's not really skillful, but like if I do, it's like, okay, cool, I, I did something, nice. <laughs> Whoa, Nelly, all right, that was close. All right, you know what? I mean, like, all right, 
It's got, we gotta get it. Like, hold on, can we just like lodge it to the ball and like just push it over? If I, if I just like shove it over like here, right? I go like this. And then I put it down. All right, is most of it on? No, it's not, is it? Is it? Is most of it on there? No, it's not, all right. All right, it'll stay. It'll stay. But it slides down. If I stick it out on the other side, I wonder if I can just like... Can I like sneak over and just pluck it out? Let's see. All right, it's balanced. Nope. Do you think I could get it from that side? I think so. Mr. Anderson, do you like the game? I like the game, yeah. It's pretty good. I think I can get it from the other side. Oh, damn, this is a good coffee. Holy shit. Is coffee the most inconsistent drink in the world that even with the same person makes it with the same stuff? Like, like even when I make coffee, like, for myself in the exact same way, and I know I'm making it the same way. Sometimes I drink it, I'm like, this is the worst drink I've ever had in my entire life. And then another time I'd be like, damn, this is really fucking good. Like, shit. All right, what if I use... What if I use... The chalk. And then attach... No! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, hold on. Attach. No, 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 All right, you know what? You know what? You know what? I think, against all odds, I can do it with just this. But can I get this over there? All right, that that is comfortably over there, right? All right, good. Dude, those look like joints. Aw, oh, dude! All right, it's lodged there, right? And then we take the ball. And we put the ball, like, on here, and then it'll slide down with momentum, and keep going. See? All we have to do is get a good shot at it. Just a good shot at it. You know what? Maybe we, we need to make it, like, like that? Will it stay, though? Hmm. Wait, this is what you were thinking? Yeah, but with like a with like a, a ramp instead of this shit. I don't like I don't like our setup, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Oh. Alright, that was pretty good. Alright, if I go up to the top. Alright. There we go. That's it. This is the one. It wasn't the one. Alright, I think that it's way further left than, I, than it actually is. What if I go, like, head-on? Apply directly to forehead. Alright. There. Oh, I don't think it gets any better than that. Hmm. If only we had a launch... I know, that's what I was trying to build! And I couldn't get it over here. <gasps> Alright, is that better? I think it would be much better if it was aligned with, with this one, right? We attach. Oh, dude, look what that looks like. Oh, bro. All right. All right. Worst bit, you just keep giving me more power. Every time I see someone type worst bit, I just want to do it more. <laughs> Alright, so now we just do it here, right? And we just drop it? Alright, and then, and then, alright, it's fully loaded, it's straight. Alright, and then, we target it, and then, fuck, why, 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 why not? Why? 
Why is it so fucking finicky? <gasps> Even better? Alright, and then we just shake it off. Okay, it's not working. It's not working. Do you think if we if we if we make a if we make a stick, do you think we just like poke it over? I don't know what to do anymore, other than the actual fucking solution. <laughs> I really want to do my ramp. If I took the stick with me, do you think with the stick we could get we could get the the ramp back over here? The stick is a lot of um is a lot of length, right? The stick adds a lot. Why are you making it so complicated? Because it's fun. I'm having fun. The shrines are so boring, you have to make them more fun yourself. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, this is this is round. It'll just roll down and be fine. Calculated. Calculated. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's one. Alright. Alright, let's see how fast we can make this. Damn liberals, man. True, so true. So true. All right, this is looking pretty good. All right. Easy. Easy up there. All right, easy up. Easy. Oh, oh, maybe not. All right, that's that's got to stay up, right? The 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 whole weight of it is on that side, right? Yes. All right. All right. Okay. Now we have to take it to this side. Same strat. Have you tried just bombing the ball? No. Shit. It would probably work. But we're doing it this way. Alright. Vast majority is on it. Alright, we're good. Alright, and then. And then. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, what am, what am I trying to do right now? I'm trying to lay it. Underneath. Alright. Like like this, right? Like this. Like a oh it's gonna slide down! Oh no! I didn't consider that we might have made it a little too long. Alright. Wait, can the ball be attached? The ball can totally be attached. We can get it over there right now, but that's not how, that's not how we're trying to do it. We're trying to make a ramp. And we're gonna like chuck it over there into the into the hole. All right, all right, all right. Pivot, 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 pivot. Right here, it seems pretty lodged. Okay, I had to catch it. I had to catch it. Should we take Should we take the the uh, the pipes off? Do you think the pipes are causing the problem? What do you think? All right, pipes are off. All right, pipes are off. All right, so now, now we make our ramp. All right, like, whoa, what, 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 what are we doing? Right here, all right. Huh. All right, this is it. All right, this is it. This is it. No, it needs to be higher. How can we get it higher? Okay, you know what? You know what we need? 
I need to be able to to climb up a little bit. No 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 Alright we're good. We're good 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 All right, that's a little higher. <laughs> oh no, we fell up! The ramp seems a little bent. Yeah, it's not working, is it? I think it needs to be, it needs to be lined up. Can we line it up? If it was lined up nice and smooth like this, I think it would go much faster. Would it not or am I wrong? Okay. So close. It's so close. Walk up the ramp. Can I walk up the ramp? Oh now that we have the little the little stand. Maybe maybe this is the way. Alright. Maybe this is the way. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes! Yes! Alright, we did it! I was here! Alright, the shrine sucked. Just as Kojima intended. Was it worth it? I had fun, so it was worth it, I think. Happy to sub during the shrine. Aw, oh, thank you. I wonder where all those things are to the right of the, um, of the screen when we're doing this loading. Alright, I want to see what the red was. What was the red? Oh, it is a hole! Is there enough salad in the sequel? Oh, you. Oh, you. Do, 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 do. Oh, damn. Fucking hell. How many of these are there gonna be? I gotta say, I like the, the, the underground, but it kind of feels like there's nothing down here other than monsters. I like the light, uh mechanic of exploring around but i don't know if i like it this much like every every fucking square on this map needs its own light maybe oh my god i don't know if i like it this much maybe you're not supposed to do it all hmm i don't know where they're going with this anyway i just wanted to get the uh i, I figured there was going to be a a a light down here so i just wanted to get that real quick let us jump back up to Oh, right under the shrine. One for every Korok. See, I wonder if there's one for every shrine. It's not directly under it, but maybe there's like one in somewhat every shrine area. Let's go to... there. Oh, it's the chasm. I remember the chasm. Oh, so we're going to the bird place first this time. That's interesting. Were you hoping they would let you play a Zelda in the sequel? What do you mean? We're playing a Zelda. It's Legend of Zelda. We play a Zelda. <laughs> um... Like, the hoping? No. I think it would be kind of cool to play Zelda in, in one of the games. I, I would be fine with that. I think that could be fun. I have no real emotional attachment to Link, to be honest. I don't I don't really give a shit about Link. Wasn't there a bridge here at some point? Oh, there it is. Do we want to find another one of these, chat? I honestly don't. <laughs> so early on, I'm like, I don't want to fight them anymore. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's just go over there. Fucking hell. 
I remember this. That chasm down there leads to, like, one of the, the greatest moments of disappointment I've ever had in gaming in my entire life. Just right down here. Follow this down here. Eventually you get to, like, a little ruins in there. And it looks like it's gonna be a dungeon. And then you just get in and it's just a fucking shrine. It's a bad one, too. Go there again. Maybe this time for sure. Fuck it. Let's do it. As soon as we get a, as soon as we get a checkpoint on this side, we'll get it. We'll go there. I remember seeing the dragon when I uh, first got here, too. Oh, I don't have any arrows left. What? This music's still a banger, though, huh? Link, what the fuck are you doing? So it's the same map? Oh, where have you been? Go! 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 Is it really the same map? Yeah, it's really the same map, yeah. What's new? Oh, there's lots that's new. But it is the same map that they built on it. It's kind of like when uh, Blizzard remade uh, the world for Cataclysm. It's kind of like that. Is there enough Zelda in this one? Oh, they've arrived! Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, if I jump at the right time, can I, like, not get caught in that? Green, I'm pressing A. All right. Maybe crouch to stay on. Yeah, there's got to be a way to stay on. Last time I tried climbing, it didn't work. Should we put the heart on the gloom sword? Gloomy heart? Let's do it. Oh, gloomy heart! Yes, because you're a huge weep. Whoa, what the hell? All right, time to get something amazing from this treasure chest. Here we go. Amazing treasure. A ruby. Whoa. Holy shit. Hillary Clinton looking at balloons. Whoa. Can't believe it. A ruby. Wow. Imagine going down there to some huge dungeon and it's just lore some shit and it's a shrine because old habits die hard. It's going to be a shrine. There's going to be a shrine down there. Oh, man. Wait, wasn't it, wasn't it here, the village? Or no? Was it over there? Uh, oh, it's there. That's it? That's it. All right. So we're going there. All right. Where... I need, uh, unironically, I want to find a shrine right now, so I have a teleport. Um, I guess we have to climb up and do the, uh, and do that? Is there a way to ascend here? I don't think so. His reaction would make you think Weeb was a slur. I don't know what that means. Can you define that for me real quick? Do you think it's weird the map continuity exists except for all the robot corpses and divine beasts not being present? Are the divine priests not present? I don't know that yet. We haven't gone to one of them yet. I don't know where, where did, where did the, uh, the bird land? Okay, Joe, I personally put the ruby there, and I think that reward is fine. I'm sorry. Okay, it, you know what? It's it's a nice route. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. 
It's a nice ruby. Who's that? That's not going to work. Oh, it broke. Oh, fuck. Did they improve Flourish at all? If anything, I think they made it worse. But no, they didn't improve it. bright out. Is that because of the blood moon? When the glow of the Damn, that looks good, doesn't it? Shines upon the, land. the power of pre-rendering. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Maybe that's how the game will look on Switch 2. Is that how it looks on uh, the platform that shall not be named? Damn. Because if it does, holy shit. No, I understand the 10 out of 10s. Wait, was it cold here last time? I remember it cold around here, but was it cold like at the bird place? No, it wasn't, was it? It was rocky. Lucky Clover Gazette. All right, can we teleport here? No. What in the ducktails are you? You know what? Fuck it. No, I just want to. I want a shrine. Fuck it. While I'm here, I'm never gonna come back here. Okay. Hey, what do you want? Huh? Shh. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You're here about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me. I'm in, in charge. I gotta say, you did a good job finding us out here. Some go right on by. It's pretty unusual for a newspaper to be run out of a stable. Tracy cheated the previous owner out of this place. But you see things. Like they are, don't you? Oh. Hey, want to be a reporter? Shine to land on truth. This was evil as the world. I could put the world with Tracy for you. Uh. I was trying to talk to Tracy, not you. Hey, quiet. Uh. Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. Another thing, I bought this place from the owner for after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated them out of it? Uh, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant with the poor job. I want to let you know. Mm -hmm. New applicant? Mm hmm. Hang on. You look like. Ah. L -l -l Hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? Oh. All right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know every everyone involved in this story. Pura asked us to help digging, asked us for help digging into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Oh. Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the oh. upheaval. While coming here was a great call. What do you mean is we're getting tips from all over Hyrule? So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. How are they getting to you? It's 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 hell out there. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like Prince, the princess appearing in all sorts oh. of places. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. Oh, yeah? Here we go. All right, what's the incentive? Oh, clothes! Not, oh, that's a good incentive. Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces and no slipping. Oh, -ho! you work with Penn to chase down all the, these news stories, and I'll give you this armor, piece by piece, all yours. A pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Penn, you can come back in. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then it looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. All right, you two, here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you're, you'll head all this up. Stables bring in people, and people bring in details, and details of what we need. Now get me some news. Man, I, I love dialogue and side quests in in, in, uh, in Zelda. You know what my favorite were? In the, in the first Zelda, how you would go to a lot of places like this and get really long, drawn-out conversation with side quests to go and do shit? It was fucking the best. Everyone knows the original Zelda had all that shit. And this is a return to its roots. Pot lid. 
Alright, why aren't we dying of cold? Alright, there's gotta be a shrine around here somewhere. Where is one? Oh man, that bridge is oot. Wingless visitors, cross at your own peril. Alright. Oh, it's ice. Okay, cool. Alright, awesome. Well, we're dead. How do we get stamina there? Alright, full health. The bridge is busted. Alright. What are we going to do? Are we going to chop down some trees? How many trees is it going to take? Hmm, let's size it up. I think 25 trees. What do you think? 25 trees? Are the logs straight? We don't have an axe. Shit. What happened to the old shrines? Where are they gone? Link had them all destroyed in anger, based. Alright, that we can climb. That's not ice. We can get to the top of that one and then launch ourselves off of it, maybe. Hmm. Alright, that's that's something we could do. But it's been ages since we saw a shrine. There's gotta be a shrine around somewhere. And then we have a fast travel point. And then we can go to that canyon and that'll be the end of the stream. Although, this is taking so long that I don't know if it's gonna... If we're gonna have time. Ack. Whoa, 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 darn it all. President Hudson, are you okay? Oh, no, what have I done? All right, I'm sorry, President Hudson. I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault starting me like that. I know it's just a sign, but I have a great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable, President Hudson. You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? You mean President Hudson. He's the president of the construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting the material caches all over Hyrule, and now he's shouldering the land's restoration. Of course, he is also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Aww. Hey, I'm right, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of her heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around, but President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. And that's to put these signs uh, all over the place. Put these signs all over the place. Let everyone know Hudson Construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. <laughs> These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail. Noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I pledge to support him. No need to worry that I might suffer in the cold. I've eaten a special spice ball that made helps you understand it. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here with you. I can't stand it forever. i got so many signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? What are you going to... Are you going to support him? Alright, I'll let it go. Whoa, unforgivable. Uh, Mr. Hudson, I'll support you. Alright, good luck with that, Burl. Alright, where's the shrine? <gasps> <gasps> Alright, that's the shrine. We'll go get that one. Because it's the only one we see. Alright, what am I supposed to do? Like, like, glue this? Can I chop down trees with a sword? Oh, these logs are super long. All right, there you go. We'll let go now. Okay, I don't know what to do. Do I rewind it? Make scaffolding, but I I can't attach anything to it. All right, good luck with that, Dora. I'm leaving.
All right, you know what? You know what? I think if we just do it a little better, I think this could work. Just gotta slip this one under. All right. Right? That should that should work. Here we go. Shit. Oh, oh, fuck. I didn't know you could do that. All right, this is just the break for the we've been waiting for, though. Because now, now we can lodge it right underneath. Like this. Uh, all right, and then... All right, there we go. Done. What do you mean? Why didn't that work? All right. Now it should work. Now it should work. Maybe we need another tree. Fuck. Maybe we need another tree. You a big fan of Legos as a kid? You actually, no. Are you impressed by how many great minds are able to critique able to critique games and gather in the chat, making their original takes on every game, disproving the Redditors on ma en masse and mass, and exposing the industry's tells? What are you cooking, chatter? Or we just need to wrap it around. If we wrap it around, just wrap it around. Just wrap it around. All right, so it's gonna drop forward, right? And it's gonna, and it's it's too front heavy, and it's just gonna flip right over, right? So we need another one branching off this one, in order to support that one. Because if I do it right now, it's, it's just it's just gonna fall forward, right? It's just gonna fall forward. Oh, what do you mean? It's still up. It's still up. All right. Oh. Oh. No, it's going to fall. It's going to fall to the other side. So now we now we need to just brace one right here and then it'll work. All right, one more. One more. The solution is to always add more logs. Or maybe just a cheeky tree branch is all we needed this whole time. Just a little cheeky tree branch. Like right here. Is that all we needed? Do you think? Does the tree branch even have collision? Oh, it seems to. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. I thought the tree branch strat was going to be it. Turns out it's not. Okay, now what? Now what? Could this be it? I, I kind of want to roll the dice on it and see. It seems pretty good, right? Maybe if we attach another one like this? Alright, there we go. There we go. That's that's pretty stuck. All right, here we go. All right. This is the one. Fuck. Why does it move? This is a lame bit. What bit? What's the bit? Okay. All right. A little branch right there. You know what? Maybe we just didn't put any of our own heart into this. Maybe that's the problem. We needed to give something up. Alright. We gave something up. Now it's just gonna it's just gonna fall onto that rock and it'll be fine. Alright, there we go. <laughs> I 
Alright, in all seriousness, I don't understand why the, why the whole thing just comes to a fucking crash when he lets go. I guess it's the, the physics activating on the thing, but the, the rest I understand. Alright, okay. Now, one more branch here, and it'll work. This is, unironically, this is the one. Alright, look. It's supported, right? It's stuck on both sides. It can't... Uh, it could move backwards, maybe. It's supported here. It's supported here. It's stuck. Alright, this should work. This should work. This is the one. Yes! Yes! That was brilliant. I never would have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's standing. He's still standing. Aww. Just put this right here. Get that fastened. And wait, I could have just held it up for you, dude. Ah! Perfect. My way was better. <laughs> with your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. The uh, you must be hungry at all the work. Let me give you some of this. I made you sell spicy mushroom rice balls. Thank you so much for the twenty rupees and a puff shroom. Oh, dude, let's go puff it up. Okay, was that worth a shroom? I don't know if it was worth a shroom. All right, where are we going? Can we even climb up that mountain? We gotta be able to climb up that mountain, right? It's not too bad. Vault fin trout. Octorok tentacle. Was there another one? Yep, there was. The way that these are shimmering makes me think that there's going to be some, you know, like a Korok for doing them all, but maybe not. Maybe it's just break them. Oh, we can just jump up and down. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's it? Nothing else? Where's the shrine? That's up there. Went the wrong way. Fuck. I feel like the game has been running better since we got off the Sky Island. Why would they let the first area of the game run like ass compared to this? Remember in Breath of the Wild when um, you went to the, the Master Sword area in the forest and it would just like, the frame rate would just drop and tank every single time you went there? That's how the, the Sky place felt at the beginning. Why, uh, why would they do that? It's such a weird decision. Everyone's going to see that right at the beginning. We're gonna do a shrine and then we're gonna go down to that canyon and we're gonna see if there's anything end. However, the stream could end any minute now if Lily comes downstairs and says that she's gonna go. But it's kinda of late, so maybe she's not gonna go. Maybe one of the kids uh held her up. A launching device. I remember this one. So 
so vid about Zelda or not, just watch the, the first one. Same problems. Same uh, same good things to, to, to celebrate. Huh. What's all the extra ones? Where's the chest? Oh, God damn it. You know what? Fuck it. It's probably just a, 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 a weapon that we're not even going to use. This shrine sucked. Do, 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 do. But my ruby? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll go back and get it for you right after I close the stream. I promise. All right, so what we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna go here and we're gonna jump into the canyon and we're gonna run to the edge where we were so disappointed when we played Breath of the Wild before. Cause you were disappointed before as, as well, vicariously through me. Here we go. Is there gonna be a dungeon at the end? fight silent shroom I thought we were friends why can't I look onto you for fighting what the fuck Sorry, Joe, but I had to ask, do you hear a Mogus bit in Shrine OST? I don't know what that is, so no. I've played uh, Among Us, but not very much, so maybe that's why. I don't hear it. And what little I did play was a long time ago, so. Oh, you will? Uh-oh. This feels uh, different than what I remember. More open down here, but who knows. Okay, there's a cave over there. <gasps> My god, here we are! We're here! We're here! We're here! We're here! Oh, it's a dungeon! This time for sure, it's a dungeon! I'm not setting ourselves up for disappointment. Oh, it's a dungeon! I'm so excited. Oh, it's a dungeon! Look at it! Look at it! Forgotten Temple? Like Nintendo forgot to put it in? Yeah. What was it in Breath of the Wild? Just nothing? There was a shrine in there after you fight your way through like seven guardians or something. It was a one room shrine if I remember correctly too. I think it had like a shitty puzzle in it. Man, I'm actually getting angry. <laughs> Thinking of that memory and just being like, fuck. I'm getting a little mad. I was so disappointed. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, because it was like, if there's not one here, there's not one anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, it, like, there would be one here. What the fuck are you? Oh. It's your nose. I thought it was an eye. <sighs> okay, so I pressed L, L there to lock on. And for whatever reason, he doesn't always pull out a shield. Do I have to, like, attack to pull out the shield? <sighs> My bad. No, he does. He does pull out the shield. 
Oh, it's because I had the bow out. Fuck. No, if if you run and then press it, he pulls up the shield. Oh, maybe it's because I didn't I didn't press it in time. Yeah, I must not have, I must not have let go of uh, B in time. All right, that's why. That's pretty smooth, actually. No horse. I have a horse, but you can't summon horses uh, far away from where you last had your horse. And I don't think you can get a horse down into the chasm. Maybe there's a, a path somewhere. Raise a shroom. You mean like mushrooms that make you stronger? Alright, here we go, here we go. It's a dungeon now for sure. The upheaval open yeah, here we go, Forgotten Temple. The upheaval opens something inside, and now it's now it's a dungeon. Here we go, here we go. We're ready. Nice Witcher music. Alright, this is how it was when we were here before. Ooh, a dragon bone bow. Okay, well, can you let me pick one to throw away? No? Only when it's a chest. Alright, I guess that makes sense. Chill shroom. Oh, dude, be chill. This is our best weapon, and we're using it to break open crates. Alright. That hole was there last time, and inside was a shrine. And this time, there's going to be the same room, but with another hole that's going to lead to a dungeon. This time for sure. Ice fruit. Yay. I think last time it was in there, wasn't it? Building blocks. I wonder what we're going to be doing. This is gonna work actually. Neither will that. Alright, these are all the pieces we have. the chest what 
What? I know you won't climb it, but you won't even grab on the ledge? Really? Okay. Zone I charge. Whoa. Actually, not bad. Well, this shrine sucked. Oh, man. What the fuck? Why is Anthony Albanese in the chat? Anthony Albanese, these. I, I've. <laughs> what are you saying, chat? I have no idea what the. <laughs> Oh, Link, thank you again for your help with the balloon. I believe there's something related to the Jirgo somewhere in this, in this temple. I'm searching, but so far there's, there's in vain. The chambers here are enormous. Are they? So it'll be difficult to ask the best. So where could it be? Are they, though? Yeah, this is where the shrine was last time. So we're looking for a tier somewhere. Hmm, I wonder if there's a clue. Has there been a good shrine yet? Nope. Uh, was there one earlier that wasn't so bad? Oh, this is new. Whoa. Hold the fun. Oh. <gasps> oh. Ah, this place. Lady Impa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. Called it Lauren Shrine? Yeah, seems like it. Oh. There, upon the walls. Are those not geoglyphs? Hmm, what could this mean? Hmm. I believe the one we saw first was the geoglyph on the left edge of the wall. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it's near Rito Village. Ooh. It seems the locations of the other geoglyphs from the walls are marked on the floor map as well. I can hardly believe what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still held such secrets? Fuck you, Nintendo. It is said that the Geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval. When Princess Zelda went missing. How are they connected to these images here? There's no time to dawdle. Let us hurry and investigate the remaining Geoglyphs. Oh, Lady Impa, perhaps you should rest a bit before try such a trying journey. Link, if you happen to see a Geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at other geoglyphs, just like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they will provide clues that could help lead us to Princess Zelda. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm so happy. Alright. There was one at the at the bridge, wasn't there? It was on the wall? A tear with a tear. Oh. So, no head? Haven't done this in a while. Oh, is more of it uncovered now with the from the thing? From the upheaval? That's neat. Do, 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 do. Alright, chat, I think that's it for me, because um that was the last thing we wanted to do. I don't know what's going on upstairs. At least should have come down and, and gotten me a while ago. I can I can hear them moving around upstairs, so everything seems fine, but yeah. Oh, what's what kind of rave is going on over there? Oh, it's a tower. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Oh, I see a shrine. I love those. All right. Well, I don't think we're going to be streaming this again. I think tomorrow we're, uh, you know, it's, it's, it was a late night thing. I was going to be playing it anyway. Um, I don't think we're going to be streaming it again. I think this is going to be it for the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom stream. Um, honestly, I don't know if I want to even keep playing it at this point. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but I know that I'm going to hit a wall. Like, I'm going to enjoy it probably re a lot for another 10, 15 hours. And then after that, I know it's just going to be just combat's the routine. The shrines are fucking boring. Uh, the underground interests me. It seems really hard to get to the sky places, but maybe it gets easier as, as we go on. I don't know. Um, 
do some of the main yeah maybe i should do some of the main quests and see if i can if i can get something new we still haven't got all the apps on on the ability wheel so maybe i should keep keep doing that i don't know so stop in 10 15 now yeah but then once i'm in i'm i'm like oh i should just finish and then because otherwise if i ever want to finish this game again i'm gonna have to start away from the beginning because i'm not gonna remember half the shit i did i'll be lost i don't like to come back to games I like to just, uh, well, sorry, I can come back to games. I just don't like to come back to big games, especially big open world games, you know? I don't know how many times I've played Skyrim, gotten to a certain point, stopped playing, and then, like, months or years later been like, you know what I should do? I should play Skyrim again, but I can't remember where I am, so I'm going to start again from the beginning. And I start again from the beginning, and I get to almost the exact same spot that I got last time. Get bored, be like, yeah, you know what? I'll take a break, and then just not go, and just do that cycle over and over and over. So, like... Um, I, I don't like to do that with these kind of games, but I don't know. So parting thoughts from the stream. Um, I think that so, so far what I've seen justifies the reuse of the world. I think that the, the world has been changed enough and there's, there's definitely enough additions from the sky stuff, the new stuff around the world and also the underground. Although I'm not exactly sure how much the depths, uh, is, is, is like good gameplay or just like one gigantic open world combat gauntlet. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think it justifies reusing the world. I don't think it's a lazy, cheap cash in or anything like that. I, I don't agree with that. I think it, I think it deserves to cost what it costs. I don't think that it's, it's, uh, it's anything like that. I, sorry, I don't think it's like a ripoff or like they're cheating people out of money. I know some people have that take. It's pretty rare for some people have that take. Um, I am disappointed. Having said that, I am very disappointed that the combat received what feels like absolutely zero changes other than this, this fuse mechanic, which is clunky as fuck to me. It's somewhat interesting, but it also looks kind of goofy. Like having, um, do we have it still? I don't think we have it still. Like this, the, the weapons just adding on to each other. It's just like, uh, like I would prefer it if they, if you use two of the same weapon, the weapon just becomes like a bigger version of itself rather than that just sticking together. You know, it's just like sticking assets together, probably with the exact same function that they use Ultra Hand on. Ultra Hand is fantastic. The rewind seems fucking situational as all hell and we haven't really used it all that much ascend is pretty good i keep forgetting it exists but it's pretty good i really like that you can use it to get out of areas and dungeons instead of having to use a teleport like you instead of it so i think the genius of ascend is not in like how it makes you look at different areas because i it's so easy to forget about it and also a lot of the areas aren't built around it i think the genius of ascend is that it keeps the party going so instead of it being like okay i'm done with this area time to open the map Time to go over here. Time to pick where I'm going. All right, here we go. This is this is a reset of the adventure. Whereas at the end of the dungeon, you're like, all right, let's do Ascend and get out of here. Wonder where I'm gonna be. Let's keep the party going. So I think Ascend is really really good for that, and I and I like that a lot. But everything else, like the UI is clunky as all hell. It's 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 worse than I remember because I think there's more going on. Um, this like selecting the ammo to 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 do your shots grinds range combat to a fucking halt and it seems like bow bow and arrow baseline is dog shit so i don't know what's going on with that um some of the fusions are fun but it's like again it's bringing down the experience to a crawl it's like really really slow i would have preferred a more traditional weapon system but i've already made my case for that in the video the shrines are dog shit boring i keep saying dog shit i'm sorry i should be less inflammatory the, the shrines are really really bad there you go that's a diplomatic way of saying it really bad um the visuals are i like the visuals but at the same time like they are dated i but i that doesn't really bother me all that much to be honest i don't like play games for like pretty visuals all the time they can help sure but like i'm okay with it it runs fairly well the beginning it didn't run very well it looked really bad at the beginning and i and it, i was like this does not bode well but since then since we got to the ground it's it's been running better the lighting in in the depths is just shit so i don't know what they did there like as soon as you light the trees the area just starts to look like like you know clipped through the through the the ocean in subnautica and the water didn't spawn and you're running around the ocean bed without the water there as the filter that's what it looks like to me i can't unsee it um what else we haven't found any bosses yet oh some of the new enemies some of the new enemies are fun i like that they, they added more variety but i don't know if there's enough um the cube boss was pretty good most of the bosses we fought so far have been like the same kind of thing, Hinox and stuff. The frog ox in the bottom, in the in the um, 
in the depths was a pretty cool moment that happened at the beginning of the stream today. Uh, I like that. I like that I was able to like react to being thrown up in the air and 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 like you know did a bombardment from the air with it. That was kind of cool. Um, I think that's it. I think that's those are all my thoughts. Flurry rush not being changed is really disappointing. Uh, the fact that we haven't found a dungeon yet is uh, is kind of like, uh, but we haven't really done the main quest, so maybe there's going to be a dungeon eventually. I don't know. I doubt it though. But but that's it. Um, any questions before I go about like, is there anything I forgot to talk about? How many hours in are you? Uh, seven and a half plus whatever the stream was yesterday. I think the stream was eight hours. So with the stream delay taking breaks and everything i would say around 14 to 15 hours but i really faffed around on the main island a lot like at the beginning of the tutorial like it took me a long time to get through the tutorial because i was just fucking around making shit with ultra hand and i also died quite a bit they should make the chest actually rare but fill them with like the brink with money like boatloads fuck you you don't have enough to worry about money you don't have to worry about money for a while it's a tad lame but i think it'd be preferable to how it is right now the rewards are really lackluster yeah yeah i don't i don't like the rewards i don't think they have to go that hard on it but uh yeah i don't like the rewards at all is the story worth any mention uh, i don't think so seems like just a rehash of uh of breath of the wild Something really bad happens. Link had to go into like some sort of recovery mode for a while while the whole world went to shit while he was gone. Zelda is is absent and you have to find out where she went and she she set up a bunch of shit for you to do. Only this time it was when she back in time. Like it's it feels like it's the exact exact thing that Breath of the Wild did again. When's the next stream? What game? Uh, next stream is tomorrow and it's gonna be Jedi Survivor. We're gonna go back to that and I think we're gonna we're gonna finish it tomorrow. If we don't, it'll be the next day for sure. And then depending on what my render docket is like, I don't know if we're going to be continuing streaming or if um if we will be taking a short break and I will finish it all up and then we'll come back to I think Gravity Rush 2 is after that with and then Metal Gear Solid Marathon after that. But if enough of you make like like position me enough petition, fucking all that was such a fucking bad way of saying that. If enough of you say that you want this to continue and we'll just play the whole entirety of Tears of the Kingdom like on stream, like I I'm willing to do that. Like like I'm fine with that. Um I just don't know if I if I if you all want me to do that. I don't know how this stream would perform if we did it um if we did it in in the main slot you know if this was like hey we're starting at, at one my time and here we go we're going to be streaming tears of the kingdom i don't think so though i think it's going to get pretty pretty boring pretty quick if it if it hasn't already make a poll of it we'll do it tomorrow during the jedi survivor thing well because that's the main time right and we'll see how many people think so but chat's been been uh been okay i think i've been saltier than chat actually like i don't read every bad comment so sometimes like i'll read a bad comment and that'll be the one i decide to respond to and then i'll just like like lash back at it and chat can go like whoa what the fuck where's this coming from it's like okay you don't get it man <laughs> like i've been reading like <laughs> like to you this is the first one you're hearing because it's the first one i read out but to me it's number fucking 50 you know what i mean like it's like that that's that's why <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, do you believe it's better than Breath of the Wild? I think that if you were to if you were to play one of these games, like if you never played Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild, I, I'm going to hazard a guess that if you had to choose one to play right now, which one would you like better? I think you'd like Tears of the Kingdom better. However, if we're like, I played Breath of the Wild when it came out, compared to playing this now, I think Breath of the Wild is going to end up being the more memorable, like magical experience. And this is still going to be like a good time, especially if you liked Breath of the Wild, you'll, you'll like this game, I think. Like it's still going to be a good time, but I don't think it's going to hit the same level of like, like, oh wow, this is really special that Breath of the Wild did because Breath of the Wild had the had you know the novelty carrying it as well. Um, it, that's not to say that this is a bad experience or a bad game, but but to me, I think Breath of the Wild will remain more special. But if I was to start playing one to, today for the first time, I think I would prefer this one over Breath of the Wild. I'm actually thinking of that because because the kids want to play this, the boy, my boys want to play this, and they haven't played Breath of the Wild, or Leo's trying to play it right now, um, and like they just want to skip right to this one. And I was like, eh, I could let them do that, but I'm like, if they do, I don't think they're gonna want to go back and play Breath of the Wild. So that I'm basically like killing a game for them that they could enjoy. You know, so I think uh, I think uh, you should watch them in order. Still, while well, still I we're about to end. Actually, I'm doing the uh, the parting speech. These Zelda streams are really fun. I hope there's more. We'll see. There might be. 
Any idea to buff the marble race event? I haven't been paying attention to that at all, sorry. I know some people have DM'd me about that and I have an answer because like I, I, I stream and then I get renders going and then the computer's tied up rendering and I just go upstairs. I did a little little shit talking on, on Jad's uh, now and then, but mostly that's when I'm actually getting the the renders set up in Adobe Premiere. So I'm like waiting for like the files to conform and stuff. And then I'm like, okay, now, now I'm actually going to hit render time to clo close Jad's. So shield surf, let's go. Yeah, let's do that. So you jump, you jump. Shit. Oh, okay, great. Well, and that's why it didn't work. Stop locking on. Aww. Here we go. Rendering hasn't released a video in three years. First of all, it hasn't been that long. And second of all, I'm rendering streams together to go on uh, the second channel on YouTube. That's what I'm. That's why I'm rendering. I'm not claiming the render videos for uh, the main channel. Did we do that one? I don't think we did. Okay. So a big positive about the game before we go, let's end on, end on a positive note because I want I don't want to be a Debbie Downer about the game. One of the biggest positives about the game so far has been its ability to just chain you through. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's that? And that's why again I think like ascend, ascend keeping the party going is so good. Like get out of the shrine. All right, what's there? Oh, let's go over there. You go through a cave. Use the send to get up. Now I'm in a new area. Look around. Oh, what's that over there? Go there. Okay, grab that. Oh, now I'm getting attacked. Oh, there's someone an NPC to talk to over there. Oh, now I'm close to a tower. Let's go in a tower. Oh, now the tower. When I use the tower, it it's not like a choice to jump off. It literally flings me up in the air. And as I'm going down, I'm like, oh, I'll find something interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that looks interesting. Let's go over there. And then oh, I'm done with that. Now I'll jump down from a sky palace. Okay, now I'm gonna now I'm going to Sky Island. Now I'm gonna go somewhere else. like oh, there's a hole. Now I'm gonna go in the hole. You know, like like um, it's it's really fucking good at like like look, I, I'm like like not even consciously running toward the shrine right now because ooh neon green. I want to go see what's over there. Like it's really fucking good for that. Um, and it feels good the whole time. I think. I just wish the combat was better. But would I be saying that if I had already played Breath of the Wild? I don't think so. I think the combat was a novelty to it. But the fact that I've already played this for like hundreds of hours. I don't know how I don't know how long I played Breath of the Wild for now. I think I beat it twice. And then and then did a whatchamacallit? A a three heart run, which took a while. So I played Breath of the Wild a lot. So Yeah, I don't know. I'm stunned they didn't change more. But anyway, yeah, it's really really good at that. Uh and Ultra Hand is really fun. Really, really fun. Does it deserve the 98 six meta score like Elden Ring? Uh, too early for me to tell. Too early for me to tell. Anyway, so your chat. See you tomorrow for more Jedi Survivor. And then we'll decide if we're going to do more streams of this. So I guess I can't play this again until we uh, until we decide. Darn, what a shame. What a shame. So your chat. Do, 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 do.